I'll I hit the, the buttons. I was totally thinking of the chicken too. Uh, I think I hit them right. Um, Episode one hundred. Yeah, somebody said uh, on YouTube that uh, oh, what is live. wrong? What's wrong with YouTube that they can never start on time? I'm definitely going to blame YouTube. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely not our fault. Definitely, <laughs> definitely going to blame There's YouTube. Nothing to do with us chatting in the background. Uh, well, people don't know, so they're doing construction in our in our floor, so we have no bathrooms. And literally across the street, they they tore down a building right yep. next to us. So. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to go like, I don't know, it takes 20 minutes to go to the bathroom here and you yeah. better plan accordingly. We got a, we bad. got all the friends of the shows, the Whiskey Omegas, the Kelstans, the Davids, the Asiani, uh, the Spencers. <laughs> yeah. This one's for whiskey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. This, oh, okay. Uh, you know, before we get started, uh, I've, you know, people can see on the stream, you know, I forgot to decorate Did my put corner. the hats on? Whoops. Yeah, put the hats on. I, I got some other uh, things uh, that, that you can't see yet. I'm, I'm going to bring over to you just for uh, for party favors. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, we got party favors? This is my it's favorite day of the week We can't look, already. though? We can't look? I found, uh, I found oh! Oh, nice. Okay, who's Chewy? Chewy's good. Uh, Chewy's good. Ha no, no Phasma. Kylo Ren. No, uh, Kylo. BB-8. No, BB-8. Yeah. Oh, I'll take BB-8. I'll... I'll... <coughs> yeah. Uh, and then... Brad, do I should I have hold one for you in honor of you? Do you Captain have a I got a Radeon Vega band I can <laughs> wear and kind of fit in. Any static strap? Uh, and then for, for Kevin, yeah, uh, I got a, a red uh, self adhesive mustache. Uh, oh, who's that for? Brad, do you have a preference? You oh yeah, Kylo, sure. Okay, you want... I'll put it on. <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> so I didn't realize this was a um, and you cosplay. Costume, <laughs> costume party, as they used to call it. Now it's called cosplay because we can't say costume party. And for people who are wondering what's going on, we are celebrating our 100th episode today. Asterisk. Yay! And uh, yeah, yeah. Gordon just ruined it for everybody. We're here. No, it's a 100 because it says 100. <laughs> That's the way the world works. It doesn't actually have to be 100. Oh. It just has to have. 100 on. You're the one who brought up the asterisk, not me. Numbers uh, don't lie, Gordon. Well, because I'm trying to preempt people going, well, <laughs> what about those special episodes with everybody that had numbers? I thought you meant episode zero. And well, episode zero. Yeah, episode zero, the special episodes. Uh, we had a couple live episodes that weren't numbered either. Oh, uh, those, they don't, they oh. They don't make noise. Oh, they don't make noise. No, you didn't get the noisemakers. You just made, you, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, it's just like the new Star Wars franchise. It's all disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> and then they don't roll back up. Look, I blew mine out and it's uh it just gets stuck. Ah, dang it. Man, wow. What a mm. what a yeah, what a piece. I had to All right, returned. Uh yeah, we we got Big Mom in the house. We got Leslie. We got uh like I said flash photo. We got Chris is asking where the uh, RGB fidget spinner is. Um I don't know. It's around here somewhere, I'm sure. It's around here somewhere. We got I, I Mac, get these Mr. Mac this. Mac on uh, oh, Twitch, and uh, oh, I forgot to check Facebook. And I'm just sticking stuff to my face yeah. right now. Stuart and Magnus over on Facebook. All right. Hey yo. Yeah. Uh, Yamil says congratulations on the hundredth episode. I've been watching ever since number twelve, right, if I recall on? correctly. Yes. Too bad I won't be here for the whole show. Uh, well, thank oh. you, Yamil. Well, thank you for coming to yeah. the party. Make sure when you leave, you grab your um, <laughs> goodie bag. Brad knows this one. It's about the goodie bag. You look, man. You look very uh, like steampunkish. Almost. I can't get this to work with the. Just uh, put it over set. the strap. Yeah. What? But it doesn't stick you, on. It's I think pop you have off. to put the hat on first, and then the. Uh, <laughs> No, because then, then it'll crush it. <laughs> I mean, the only way to do it would be to turn the, the headphones. This is what I did. I cut the earphones. There we go. There we go. Yeah. So that kind of works, right? You know, you actually kind of look like a like a gnome, a garden gnome or an elf <laughs> <laughs> with the mustache. What's well, that? You could go for the scary clown thing, you know, where those wearing the hat askew a little <laughs> bit like Dude, this no. as they're about to kill you. See? Yeah. Oh, see, oh and then uh, <laughs> dot, dot MCL says, uh, look, it's the Monopoly guy. Oh, wait. It's, <laughs> it's stuck on the fake mustache now. Oh, no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> Damn it. It really is. Do you want some help? Uh, Hookster's asking, uh, Brad, why didn't you color your beard red? I didn't realize we were going to be dressing up. I could have put ribbons in my beard and stuff. Uh, uh, it's okay. We, we got, we got plenty you, of decorations. Can you weave that uh, rubber... Uh, 
wristband thing into your beard. <laughs> All right. So happy 100th episode. You can't say yeah. birthday. Can uh, we say birthday? It's uh, a birthday. Sure, whatever. It's a birthday event. <laughs> also, real, real quick, Gordon. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he's... <laughs> Uh, Gordon, oh, I like it. Your your number one fan has entered the chat. Uh, my wife Lindsay. Oh, uh, hey yeah. Lindsay, how's it going? She, she's uh, she's your number one fan. Thank you for letting uh, Adam hang out with us. I was afraid, like <laughs> Adam, it's time to come home. I'm watching you wasting time with that. What are you? Yeah. And then uh, yeah, I, I I just still can't believe these blowers don't make noise. And then and then they have a hard time rolling back up. All right, well. Ah! My hat. Uh, it does God, you know, they stay. paid the money for the Star Wars thing, too, and then they, they made them substand. They're probably just knock I tell you what, uh, did you get the these at the store. Daiso? Dude, no, I, no, Daiso so I went, I went to Party City uh, last night to, to, to get some favor, uh, party favors, and I tell you what, I almost spent a lot of money. I'm hoping this <laughs> adhesive, <laughs> but I, I did not. I'm hoping this adhesive actually is like, you know, safe for humans, you know? It had a human on the picture, so you know you would hope so. Uh, yeah, but it's if it's just, quality of these, it's just gonna exfoliate your skin, Gordon. Yeah, Don't worry. It'll just have a permanent mark there. <laughs> I, I I almost got uh, red body paint, and then I decided against it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Adam, they, to Adam to HR, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they also had a, a Toy Story Four Forky uh, costume. I, it wouldn't have made sense for the full nerd, but I still kind of wanted it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, I have. When was the last time anybody has been to Party City? Uh, like no. two months ago. Fair. Okay. Then I don't know if your Party City was like mine, but like it's a huge warehouse, and you think, oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a party. You go in there, it's it's dark. <laughs> it's like really <laughs> sterile and huge, and like you just feel overwhelmed. And it it wasn't a party really <laughs> per se it was consumerism you know at its finest it's like home depot <laughs> exactly it's yeah home it was depot the home depot no, well, home life. depot is you go for the balloons and you get the streamers in the balloon section it's just like <laughs> where are the i don't know <laughs> yeah and they uh so there was one whole aisle that had sections uh that that were uh you know for specific franchises obviously the star wars and and mario and uh, wow uh, Paw Patrol and I don't know all these other kids things but th there was one section towards the front uh, that I thought was really funny and it was labeled Battle Royale and it was surprisingly looked like Fortnite coloring and the lettering and everything <laughs> looked like Fortnite but it did not have the Fortnite uh, license. They probably could not yeah. afford that one. Yeah, this, uh, I thought that was pretty funny it's like everything's just like you know licensed property licensed property then they're like Battle Royale that kind of looks <laughs> like Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> uh, also, I'll say, you know, I went to the old people's section because they have like, hey, happy 50th, happy 60th. Uh, it only goes up to 80. I tried to find, really? I, I tried to find <laughs> oh, some decorations for, for 100. <laughs> that is very sad. <laughs> oh, I just tasted this thing. Also, if you're 50, we're sorry. Adam doesn't realize that 50 is not that old. Oh, I'm just saying, like, you know, they, they had a, a bunch of old people stuff no, I know. Uh, in I the old saying. people section, and they didn't, <laughs> it stopped at 80, it capped out, uh, so That's I was very cynical, that is just extremely cynical. <laughs> I'm guessing that has to do more with market uh, appeal and how many people they can reach. Yeah, yeah it comes down probably. to audiences, like, I can make 50, I can sell a lot more of these, or I can sell, you know, like, one of these 100s every 10 months, <laughs> so, you know, it's... <laughs> Yeah. All right. Well, uh, call some people live that long. Why don't you, like uh, approach is super. Oh, oh yeah. I had to fit that in. We're um, not gonna talk about that. Should we tell people what we're talking about? Yeah. What are we talking about? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We are, it's all full nerd hundredth episode. We actually do. We are going to celebrate this because we realized, um, people would be very disappointed if we did not actually celebrate this. We are going to have our first annual hall of fame. Inductee, we each will nominate hardware that we think should go into the Hall of Fame. Uh, no. We, what? No. I know this hardware belongs in the Hall of Fame. Mm. Yes, but then we have to argue. <laughs> you have to make your so, pitch for what goes in, and we, then... We we will be... Yeah, we, we can say the rules again once we're... We'll, we'll talk about the rules yeah. later. Uh, we're also going to talk about our favorite full nerd moments. Episode 200 predictions. What will we be running in our PCs I'm talking about when we're that. talking about episode mm -hmm. 200 and full nerd trivia this is all full nerd uh 2080 super brad just summarized yep yeah okay yep. it exists it exists <laughs> it exists you can read by that instead of a super in the 2080 though right uh, uh, right, yeah, super is a strong word okay okay yeah all right you, you can read uh, more about it on pcworld.com yeah 
Uh, also, Flash Photo is uh, he's going to do a prediction right now and say Elena's pick is the twenty two hundred G. I was actually thinking of slipping that in there just to troll, <laughs> but I decided that I don't want Brad to kill me next time he sees me in person. So, <laughs> <laughs> like, accidentally pushed me off a cliff. It, it, it might happen. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then, uh, yeah, let me let me take this graphic down, uh, and I have oh. a... Uh, Wait, what was in that graphic? Oh, just the, the, the full nerd will start, start soon. soon. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. cool. cool. Uh, and then uh, I think I am ready. I, I also added some emoji slash clip art to the intro, so oh, be sure to watch the it. intro don't video. Oh, spoil it. Yeah. Oh, I have to watch it now. Yeah, you have to oh, watch it now. Oh, it's great. All right. This is going to be fun. All right, uh, yeah, then, uh, then kick us off for 100 episodes of The Full Nerd. Oh, I almost started at the wrong place. In this episode of The Full Nerd! Uh, what do we to say? Yep, perfect. Annual Fall of Fame. Yep. Okay. In this episode of The Full Nerd, our annual Hall of Fame, Full Nerd Moments, and 200... Per- yeah, that's four things. You, you know, you, you, could, you, could just say, you could just say something like... We talk like, about you know, ourselves. <laughs> yeah, it's a ha- happy... Well, you know, in this episode of The Full Nerd, we turn 100. All right, in this episode of The Full Nerd, we turn 100. Just don't try to buy party supplies. There you go. For 100. <laughs> Wait, I'm looking at the... Oh, I like it. Blue. Aww. Welcome to the Full Nerd episode 100. Yes, we are 100. Ooh. That is some kind of centennial thing, right? That's, that's right, centennial? Yeah. Hit centennial. Three digits. Literally centennial. Does not count. It's episode zero. I'm your host, Gordon Mong, <laughs> with co-host Brad Charkas. In episode zero, we talked about the new GTX 1080, and today the 2080 super launched. Oh but that's gosh. all I'm going to talk about it. That's about yeah. oh cool. boy, that's <laughs> that's all it's deserving, right? Go read his review <laughs> on PCWorld.com. Go read Brad's review on PCWorld.com. Elaine Yi, wearing the hat. Yeah, I've actually been here since episode one. Oh, yeah, really nice. cool. I don't remember all the. Yeah, you brought me on to talk about the. Uh, I think it was Skull Canyon. Oh Not really? Cool. Okay. Yeah. God, I can't remember when was what was that premiere date? We don't. I'm not going to ask questions. We don't know the answer. Well, to. also, uh, I have trivia coming up later. So, oh, you trivia will, you later. Will see that. Adam Patrick Murray, of course, controlling the vertical and horizontal, and today also party supplies. Uh, yes, I, I decorated <laughs> the place. Uh, but you know, first off, I want to thank all you. I, I love. Uh, I love you know doing the full nerd for 100 episodes uh, with y'all. You're an awesome crew. Uh, I prepared a nice little video uh, to to kind of oh. show off. Uh, oh, c- commemorate the. Uh, I didn't know all the this. full nerd intros. Wow. This is what I was laughing about yesterday when you saw me editing. <laughs> is it work safe? Uh, it, it is work safe. Uh, and le- oh, let me, I can't wait for this. Let me cue it up uh, right here. And uh, yeah, watch this. Holy frack. GeForce GTX 1080 and GTX 1070. Do I need to say more? Battlefield 1. And is it safe to build a PC right now? Welcome to the Full Nerd. In this, in this, in this episode of the Full Nerd, the Full Nerd, the Full Nerd, Threadripper <laughs> bombshell, NVIDIA is mean to AMD again. We're still hungover from CES. Kyle Bennett from Hard OCP. Jim Anderson is back. Intel's 10 nanometer. Ah, I can't get it right. 10 nanometer. <laughs> oh, damn it. What the hell is I don't even care. We're just going to do it. I'm not going to say something clever. I got nothing clever Forget to say. Forget about clever. Nothing left. In <laughs> This episode of the <laughs> that was great. Yeah, yeah. thank you. There you go. Yeah, yay. yay! That was fun. That was fun. No wonder uh, you were <laughs> you were like giggling at your desk yeah, yesterday. Because I good. believe me, there was a lot of uh, stuff to pull from. You know, I could have made that that thing like five minutes long, but I, I had to make it short and punchy. But yeah, yeah no there, harsh there was language. A lot of a lot of fun stuff uh, in our past uh, that. But it's fun. So, yeah. I know. Good times. We made it. We made it. From 1080 to Ryzen Parts. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. From 1080 and and Battlefield 1. There's been Battlefield 1 and 5 and something else. (laughs) There's been a lot of Battlefields. (laughs) Battlefield. Yeah. We went from Battlefield 1 to 5 in the spam of uh, of 100 episodes. That's crazy. A bajillion cores. Yeah. It's really hard to talk with this thing, but I'm going to leave it on. Do it. Do it. You got it. it on the... It's hard. It's really hard. To, okay, should we? All right. Yeah, let's let's get to the, we the first get to, topic. First, I think as much as we love ourselves, uh, we do want to talk about hardware because it's about the hardware here. 
So we are coming up. We're going to have our first annual Hall of Fame Awards. This is the Full Nerd Hall of Fame. Uh, basically, this is hardware. Any hardware that we deem uh, worthy of nominating to the Hall of Fame. Uh, it will work like this. We each get three entries. So we get to submit three pieces of hardware that we think should go in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> we all vote on it. There's only four of us. If there is a tie... 2-2, uh, two, two, then the tiebreaker goes to where, Adam? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? What? I thought are we were going to let the crowd decide. Leave it to the oh, crowd yes, again? I'm sorry. The crowd, yes. If there's a tie, it, it, My it'll be up to you. My 2200G people. <laughs> that was all. Come rally to me. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. Well, so, yeah. Those are the rules. Because normally you only have three. It should be you can't have a tie, but we can actually, yeah. actually have and, a tie. You know, and, and those, you know, we, this idea came out of, hey, there's been some amazing PC hardware over the, the years, uh, and, and they need to be inducted into some sort of Hall of Fame, so why not the full nerd is our responsibility to put together Hall of Fame. Uh, and just like the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, you know, you, you have to induct hardware every year. You can't just put everything in. Right. So we're, 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 gonna, we're just going to do three for, uh, for this year. And it goes slowly. It's going to make some people angry because they're going to go, oh, well, some things should have been on this list this year. But, you know, hey, there's a lot of hardware. You also have all the legacy hardware. You have the current hardware. When yeah. does it go in? It's all political. Uh, most Hall of Fame, you know, whether it's baseball, football, uh, basketball. There's always they change the rules every year, so the rules might change next year. But I think this is this is worthy because this yeah. is this is I I did think it's a big deal. So the how rules might change this episode because I might feel change. like somewhat winging it. Yeah, right. It's not yeah. fully baked. <laughs> uh, well, I'm gonna go first then. Do it. So oh. I you gonna, you've been you've been really thinking about this. I, I got to tell you, behind the scenes, Gordon's just been like, man, what should I induct? What should I induct? What should I induct? That's the reason we didn't have one last week because Gordon was thinking so hard about well, which picks to bring today. And I just and I just think that I I want to pick something because. It's very, we know the current hardware atmosphere is very polarized. You know, you have very strong fan bases in, in either corner. And how do you pick something without inflaming everybody? And like, but I, I was like, well, I could pick something older, which I think is definitely worthy of going into the Hall of Fame. Certainly should be. Or I pick something is like, what's more recent that people can still remember? And, and I had a hard time picking because I didn't know how, how far back we were actually going in time. It could be anything. Go back to eighty eighty six. You know, it could. Back I've, to I've the... got I've got one pick from this century. Oh, right. Spoilers oh, really? from this century. That's it. Wow. All right, yeah. See that I'm going to go first, so I can. Well, no, this is this is current, <laughs> and, and I think I I I am going to nominate Intel's. I know because everybody hates me because I, I I actually give Intel credit sometimes. Intel Core 2, the original Core 2. Conroe, dual mm. core. Uh, it was the Core 2 6800X. I can't remember. It was Core 6800X. I don't remember the exact number, but the original Core 2, Conroe part. And my rationale for this is, uh, at the time, they... Intel basically had been getting its its butt whipped all day up and down the block by by AMD. It, it, it Penny Ford got run off off the field. It was like it was just terrible, right? It was like people wouldn't even send you Core Two or they wouldn't send you Penny and Four boxes even for review because they knew they'd just get beaten bloody by by any Athlon FX sixty four boxes. Intel comes out with Core Two, which is based on a mobile architecture. And uh, let's, I sh I'm going to find the exact date of the Core 2 launch. I should have done this earlier. But I literally <laughs> just switched my entry just, just earlier because I, I was going to nominate something I, I thought would be easier and, and safe to, to not have uh, any kind of no controversy. The original Core was 2006, right? And it's, it basically, we went from no one would touch a, an Intel box, painting 4, Pentium Ds, which were just just always disappointing for the most part. No one would touch Pentium 4s to suddenly no one would touch Athlon. It went overnight. And we went to Core 2. Core 2 was the real deal. It changed everything. And it really marked... <laughs> and the reason why I'm picking this over more historically great CPUs that I, I think also deserve to be in at a later date, the Core 2, I think, deserves to be in there because... From 2006, Intel has basically ruled desktops until now. Until about 
2017 is what right I if you say. think about it well but even with even with the original risings they there well, were that was reasons 2016, for it. wasn't it uh 2017 2017 All but right. even even with the original rise and launch it was you had reasons right there were always now of course but you got to recognize 2006 to now basically because let's face it ryzen um 3000 series just is really really hard to recommend intel there are reasons but for the most part 90 percent of people should buy ryzen right that's my recommendation but that is a hell of a long run 2006 till now because core really sort of built into core i7 and similar architecture they started mm -hmm. integrating things and that that is just that's just an historic run i think about it like basically who bought AMD five years ago, seven years ago? No one, right? I mean, yeah, you had your fans that, that bought those parts, but Core 2, just, I just can't think of, and, you know, I'm kind of, I give the derivatives of that, you know, with Nehalem and the like, uh, is kind of including that, but it really marked just a change where Intel just ruled everything for the longest time. So, so in the interest of, since we're going to vote on these, before we vote on yours, I want to hop in and give my pick. Yeah, I, I think uh, we should get I, all the picks I out think there. We'll okay. Vote at the end. Yeah, right? it doesn't make yeah. sense to write. Yeah, my right my away. pick is relatively close to his actually, okay. but not quite the same. He went with the originator of it all. I went with, I'll call it almost the perfecter of it all. Uh, the Intel twenty six hundred K, four cores, eight threads. If you knew what you were doing, you could get that thing damn close to five gigahertz, four point eight, four point seven. Uh, there's a reason it came out a decade ago. And people are still doing videos. Hey, does this new Ryzen chip, how does it compare against the 2600K? Hey, this new Intel chip, how much of a boost is it over the 2600K? There's a reason that there are so many 10-year-old gaming PCs out there, and that's because the 2600K delivered and still delivers an outstanding amount of value that, yes, Intel went and beat AMD with the original Core 2. Uh, Intel went and beat the crap out of future Intel with the 2600K. <laughs> So that's my pick. Uh, it was actually really hard. I, I was actually uh, tempted to pick Ryzen chips, but I feel like that's probably a better conversation for a few years down the line. 2600K is, to me, the defining CPU of this generation, this century. Nice. All right. It, uh, this is, so, it's all about debating skills. Yeah. Here. Yeah. So I, and, uh, I don't think we need to debate too much yet. Let's okay. let's yeah. let's wait to debate hard when we get all the picks out there. So. But if we are going thematically, I should note at this all point right. that one of my picks was also uh, it's very close to Brad's, but okay. not so specific. I was going to pick the Sandy Bridge generation um, for core chips because I feel like um, speaking as somebody who was definitely less in the enthusiast space at that time, that was really the first generation of core chips that made me decide to build a new PC after holding on to my Athlon system. Because I had heard about Nehalem, I was like, okay, well, it's first gen, I wanna kinda see if it gets the kinks worked out. And then Sandy Bridge came out and there was just so much positive press about it that I said, all right, I'm gonna camp myself in front of fries before sale <laughs> and I'm gonna get, I got a 2500K, which is still very serviceable to this day. Um, and I just felt like for people who were more in that mid range, it just really just solidified the the whole like, hey, you can trust that this ecosystem is something that you can come back to, and that like this is something that you can kind kind of carry on with for a while. So are you? So Brad, I'm putting down Core i7 2600K. You're picking Core i5. Yeah, just. Uh, I'm, just I'm, I'm writing the I'm writing the list. I, I got the list. Okay. You don't need to worry. All right, Adam, what you got? Uh, so my first one is actually, uh, you know, I, I wasn't around at the time. I'm obviously a PC building noob uh, and actually didn't even have this part. But I think about stuff that's important to me uh, and where I see that that turning point in enabling something that I love today. Uh, and somebody in the chat even mentioned it earlier. Uh, Brent is on my side with the original XFI card. Yeah. So, you know. Creative has always been at the forefront of uh, audio technology. I think it's super important to have great audio uh, for, for PC gaming and for, obviously, the, the work that I do. Uh, like I said, I, I didn't have one, but I think it, it's a super important turning point to have, uh, you know, a sound card. So 
Can you give some more history on it for those of us who are not as much in the <laughs> That's space? the thing. I don't know. I didn't have it. So, yeah, maybe maybe Gordon can uh, can include the history, but, you know. Adam made his picks on the BART right in today. <laughs> no, no, because, no, you know, I'm it's like totally I could have I could have done, you. like, Super X5, but I'm like, eh, you I'm know. Totally messing like, with you. Yeah. Where we got to this point because of a lot of things. Yeah. Uh, I've heard, you know, friend of the show, uh, Ryan, come on and, and talk about it. But, you know, so I'm just like, OK, well, I'll just bring it all the way back to the original card. So, you not know. you don't want to go back because uh, old timers remember, remember the, the Clone Wars. I mean, the sound card wars <clears throat> of the late 90s. Oddigy, uh, Oddigy, Ariel. There were just a ton of those. But I guess X5 is, did sort of come out. Oddigy use turned into X5 in a lot of ways. So I think, yeah. Yeah, I'm just going to go with that. Okay, creative X5 card. I've got I've got round one. Everybody's got their first round entries. I'm g- So I'm going to read it off. 2600K, Core i7 2600K, Core i5 2500K. Because we, we should actually, go parks. Are we actually picking Sandy Bridge? I just said Sandy Bridge. We're just going to say yeah. Sandy Bridge? That's what my vote yeah. was for. Okay. Because, so, I mean, you essentially voted Core two, for Conroe 2600K. as a whole. Yeah, but I was Sandy just thinking, well, should it just be a particular model? Core 2, uh, X6800, Extreme 6800. I mean, I think it's first. still fair for us to name yeah. like architectures okay. as Okay, so Conroe, cars. basically two for Sandy Bridge. This thing is not sticking. I cannot stop laughing at that thing falling <laughs> off your face from the angle of it my webcam. It just keeps coming man. off. <laughs> yeah, put it on the laptop. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> on your MacBook. On my Mac. Brad, book. your, your uh, mustache is unrivaled Look, do now. this with your Mac. It's really cool. <laughs> I recommend you do this. <laughs> okay. All right. More. More. Uh, Conroe. So Sandy Bridge, Conroe, X Fire, round one. Those are round one entries. My round two entry is also. Cur- I did pick something because re- I wanted something new because I didn't want to do cop out, pick something really, really old, which I'm doing on the next round. Mm-hmm. My mm-hmm. nomination for round two is something that changed literally everybody's world. And we have not gone back ever since. It is the original Corsair K70 K95 keyboard. I think that's before they even came up with the whole vengeance thing. 2014, they they bust these things out. They're showing off. I saw a video with Linus that did it. I saw one way back when. We saw prototypes. We used a prototype in a build we did way back when. It changed everybody's world. Before then, you had RGB uh you know, chiclet keyboards, but nobody really used them, uh, you know, dome keyboards. And you also had a full backlit, but Corsair's K70 was full per key RGB. Yeah, it had all these issues, not really hitting the full color gamut that they were full amount of colors they did, but nobody ever since has really made a high end keyboard that did not have per key RGB. And that was the first one ever. And people were. I remember that one. The fact, and people were like, I remember talking to keyboard vendors back then, and they're like, you, you can't sell that thing for less than three hundred dollars, you know. And it came out at like one hundred and fifty, one hundred and sixty. Yeah. So they blew everybody away. Wait, the K ninety five or the K seventy? Because I think the K ninety five was a little bit higher than that. Yeah, it was because it had the MMO keys. But K seventy, but the original RGB mechanical keyboard. Hmm. Okay. Nice. I rest What's my funny? case. Uh, is once again, I'm real close to Gordon. Wow. Uh, but this what? time I'm going back even further. Oh. I think that's a great choice. Like you said that, and I'm like, yes, that's a great freaking choice. Uh, my pick is also a keyboard. Uh, this is going to be my final pick, but I'll move it ahead now. I was debating between this and the original MacBook Air, bringing thin and lights into the actual era just to troll everybody. But my <laughs> pick is a keyboard that if you're a computer nerd and you walk in, you'll look at it. And you'll go, oh, crap, you got one of those? The IBM Model M keyboard. Oh. Mid-80s, yeah. bubble spring, got the nasty beige coloring going on. <laughs> you vintage, know, vintage, vintage beige. Vintage, <laughs> but indestructible. You'll still find people still using those because they're so well made. They feel so good. There's nothing else like them. Oh, I man. love the Corsair K70. IBM Model M, though, is what I think deserves to be in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> Damn. Right. Well, how, what, nice. He's copying right. me. Yeah, he is. He, he got your notes ahead of time. <laughs> All right, Elena. He's fine. Uh, hang on. Do I do I need to stay in theme? I feel like we're no, all like no, we've no, gone no. from yeah. CPUs is, to now like accessories. Whatever. Just do whatever. But this is your there's, chance there's to, no like, to, or to yeah. throw us to throw us to the floor with the jujitsu move. Like. <laughs> um, 
I actually feel a little hesitant posing this one because this is not my wheelhouse, and I can I already anticipate like some kind of a look from Brad. It's not the two twenty. It's not the twenty twenty G. I just want to. I'm just going to tell you, it's not the twenty. I'm like, oh no, ten eighty Ti. No, it's not. Um, I was actually going to nominate Polaris. Because I feel like that was really huh. when we got competition back into the GPU space. And like since then, so many like mainstream, you know, mid-level and budget gamers have been able to really get these nice upgrades for cards they've been hanging on, they had been hanging on to for forever uh, without having to really shell out for it. And it forced NVIDIA to kind of step up its game a little just because it's NVIDIA and they're super com competitive. So they were going to do that, right? Um yeah, I just think it's a really, uh, in line with my value system here, I just thought it was a very, like, value-oriented sort of thing. I, I think there's something to be said for it that three or four years later, those are still by far the yeah. best 1080p budget gaming CPUs, uh, GPUs you can buy. And, and you get them really cheap, too. And uh, S7473 on YouTube says, price performance has gone out the window since Polaris. <laughs> yep. Is, so, oh, damn. That, <clears throat> that's a good one. That being said, that being said... This isn't a pick. I just want to say it right now. I think that five or ten years from now, when we do this episode and look back and make new inductees into the Hall of Fame, we hate on the RTX generation right now, but I think it's going to be the start of something special. Mm -hmm. well. But you're not nominating that, are not you? Yet. No, no, not yet. It's too soon. Not yet. Too, too soon. soon. Too soon. <laughs> it's too soon. You don't, they're still in you're, their game. You don't go to the Hall <laughs> of Fame. You don't. No. You, no. you got to wait till they retire for that. And or Polaris the, is pretty retired. They, I mean, it's it's definitely starting to hit its twilight years, I feel like. Yeah, yeah. You could definitely, like, it's on the farewell tour. Like, yeah. oh, we're out just a... Yeah. Okay. No, that's a really good one. See, that's a really good one. That's Got that like, in there. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> it's about the argument. Okay, Adam, round two. Uh, round two. I'm I'm going to pick uh, something that is important to me, and then something that that has already uh, hit the news recently. Uh, the Razer Death Adder became the first mouse to sell. What is it? Oh, 10, yes. Ten million units. Uh, and you know, I I have had a Death Adder. I literally am using one right now, and I've had had one at home. I've used it for years and years. I think it is just like Mine's the, right here. Yeah, there you go. Quintessential, just just mouse RGB. It was probably the first thing I ever had on my PC with RGB. Uh, maybe. Well, uh, so, so for, yeah. as somebody who actually doesn't use normal mice because mm -hmm. of my ergonomic setup, mm -hmm. um, what makes that so good? I mean, I know for me at the time, like even before I got working at PC World and stuff, when I got it, I, I looked at the price. Uh, I felt like it was a good price at the time for the functionality that it had. Uh, and then also, I, I like the long, skinny ones the, that fit in my hand. So ergonomically, it's just like one of the best fits for my hand. I know there's some people who prefer, uh, what, what, what's that one? The Isn't it Corsair that has one that everyone... Uh, Harold's over. Uh, the Logitech G502. G502. That's a, yeah, I never had yeah, that one. one. I always had the Death Adder. I, I remember I was looking between those at the time, and and I, I picked the Death Adder, and haven't looked back since. So, so what are the? I've actually, features? I've actually, oh. I'm on my third Death Adder personally because wow. you know I work at the computer all day. <laughs> uh, I've gone and tried the G502 because Hayden drools over it and talks it up every time he has a chance. A lot but of people, I actually, yeah. Gave it away and got another Death Adder after that. Wow. Because to me, the Death Adder just nails the shape, you know, the basic performance, has the basic stuff you need. It's the right price. To me, it's damn close to the ideal gaming mouse. And we, we have a lot of people in the chat uh, who, who love the G502 as well. Uh, so yeah. what are the features on it then? I mean, they're pretty basic. It's not like it has anything crazy, but, it, you know, it has the, the two buttons on the side. The, the scroll wheel has a nice thick click to it. Mm -hmm. and, and a lot of like play in between it's it i mean the wheel itself feels really big so it's not like yeah and then uh, something about just, just the way the ergonomics and, and the way that the clicks yeah i mean it just it's i'm not going to say it's like you know got crazy features or anything but it just has always felt nice you know the the, the cable uh the, the braided cable has always held up for me mm. uh yeah so and I can use it at 9,000 DPI. There you go. Yep. <laughs> 16, I think this one goes up to. But yeah, it just the thing about the Death Adder is just, it just nails the basics like 100%. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Wow. So, right. <clears throat> that's a lot of, I mean, a million of the same mouse, that's crazy. Uh, 10 million. 10 million. 10 million. 10 million. million yeah, because when they sold. go on sale, they're pretty affordable. I think they hit like 35 <laughs> or 40 on sale. Wow. Yep. yep. Okay. Cool. So that concludes round two. Uh, Round three. That Death Adder got me excited. I just got unreasonably excited. <laughs> <laughs> affordable gaming mouse. Yeah, I, I will say every single one of these 
and it's just like typical it is i imagine when they do these hall of fame discussions at any other organization they're real i mean everybody's sort of like these are really these are really stars or standouts every single one of them only three get in yeah so that's why i want to win i'm changing i'm making another change to what i was uh going to pick and i am going to nominate socket seven now some okay. people may not remember Socket 7. Nope. I barely remember it. <laughs> We're talking, it came out in 1995. It was a, you know, it was a, a standard Ziff socket that we're all used to. You lift the arm up, you drop the chip in. But it, it really marked the day. Now, people don't even remember this. There was a day you could buy a motherboard. You could run Intel. You could run AMD. You could run Cyrix. You could run IDT, right? You bought one motherboard. And you could run other chips. You could run the Intel part and all the clones of it. One motherboard. And I think that was probably the last time we ever saw that. After that, Intel decided to take its ball and go home. They went to slots. Everybody sort of broke everything up. People went out of business. But in 1995, one motherboard, you could run them all. And that, I think, is worthy of of its inclusion because... It would be awesome if we could do that today. It is impossible. It is not even only technically impossible. It just doesn't make any sense for them. I feel like that comes from a very different world. I don't think anyone today could even fathom it. Yeah, it's like nominating somebody from the (laughs) 1960s or 1952 from black and white pictures of them playing. uh, (laughs) that's, that's That's one of those. But think about it. Imagine one socket that you could run any different CPU on back then. I mean, that sounds a, like some kind like. of utopian dream. <laughs> <laughs> That's it? That never existed. You're making that up, Gord. No, really. You could do that. <laughs> there is no sanctuary, Logan. There actually is Okay. All right. All right. Fred? So I cannot, like I said, in good faith, uh, pitch the RTX series graphics card yet. But that's like I the don't think that they're there. It. I know it is. It is. It's play. It's still playing. But what I can do is nominate, since I'm the graphics card guy, another NVIDIA GPU. In fact, the first ever GPU period, the GeForce 256, came out right before the turn of the century. Uh, I believe it wound up beating the Voodoo 1, if I remember correctly. This was the first ever GPU. NVIDIA actually coined the term graphics processor unit to talk about this chip. Had DDR, it moved a bunch of uh, tasks that previously were on the CPU over to the GPU. That's why they called it a GPU, like transformation lighting effects. Uh, it supported DirectX 7. It, I'm not sure if it was the first, but it was definitely one of the first cards to ever do that. And I think it changed the course of the industry soon after that. Booty 2 came out, and it was, you know, it's pretty good, but there's a reason 3DFX folded after that, and Radeon has been struggling from second place position ever since. Uh, NVIDIA introduced the first GPU, and they've been riding high ever since. All right. Very, yeah, and, you know, people don't remember this. Everybody just assumes everybody went with GPU. I'm just going to bring up a little ancient history, but AMD was like, well, ATI was like, nah, nah, we don't want to use that. They got that. <laughs> it's called Visual Processing Unit, VPU. <laughs> oh. It didn't win out. And obviously, we we all went with the term uh, GPU over VPU. <laughs> Interesting. What a different world. <sighs> all right. That's a good Elena? One, that, that sounds like uh, Gordon's voting for my pick is what that sounded like to me. <laughs> 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 Elena, you got your last pick? Uh yeah, the, the the noise I just made was because I'm still trying to decide. Oh, um, do, do you want me to go while you wait? Yeah, actually. All right. <laughs> so the, this one, I, I don't know if it's technically, you know, an amazing leap in the technology at the time. I just know for me personally, uh, about, you know, 11, 12 years ago, uh, there was a, uh, a large discussion around the PCs. Uh, it's when I first started getting to PCs, listening to... Uh, 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 Gordon on the the No BS podcast uh, talk about this this little game called Crisis and how there's this GPU the uh, the uh, 8800 uh, series of GPUs whether it's the GT or the Ultra or whatever you know just it, it would melt the thing how how could you run it maybe we get four in one box or something uh, so that was 
probably one of the turning points where I was like, huh, this PC stuff is pretty interesting. I might want to build one of my own one day. So I, I, I would say a lot of, a lot of what happened around crisis and the 8,800, uh, is, is why I kind of led down that path into to building my own PC. So I'm, I'm going to nominate the, uh, the 8,800, not, not any particular model, uh, but just that series. Well, uh, well, 8800 GTX, though, or just so the... There, well, there's the GT, the GTX, the Ultra, you know, yeah, I mean, there's GT, different versions, the, so... The GT was like a, was just a phenomenal card. So, like I said, I never, once again, I never had this one, uh, but it, it's it's personally important to me. I think uh, I have one in my garage somewhere, Adam. Yeah, so I, I'll, I'm sure you do. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, that's mine. That's a good pick. I like that pick a lot, actually. 575 CUDA cores. 900 megahertz of memory <laughs> clock, 768 megabytes of RAM, dude. Yeah, but, yeah. Can, but can it run Crisis? It could. Oh, my God. That was the thing. I remember running Crisis, the benchmark, on, like, tri SLI 8,800 boxes. Yeah, yeah, three of those. Say the crisis, uh, um, the the first Far Cry. I remember going to a Computex and seeing a PC running Far Cry and just being like, wow, that's amazing. God, I, I don't know if it was an 8800 in there, but uh, it's around the same time. So, could, you know, you, been. you can run Crisis on in, Intel integrated graphics. I know this is. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure. You can, but should you? <laughs> See, that's, I, I tell you, that's like a controversial entry. Should Intel integrated graphics get nominated? Change the world, change the entire world, integrating into the CPU and the, the chipset really changed the PC. Yeah. I've already made True. my pick for my third one. Okay. All right. Let's do it. <laughs> Ready? You have to wait a whole year, Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this is a funny one for me to pick because I don't actually feel like I can do it justice in my explanation, but I still feel like it deserves a mention. And that would be the, um, I feel like one of the really first uh, consumer parts that Intel put out there. Um, and that would be the 8086. Going way, mm. way back. Like, this thing basically gave birth, really, to what we all take for granted today. Um, and the, its derivative, which is what I'm more familiar with personally, which is the 8088, um, was just in so many home computers at the time. And I actually had my first experiences with computers on my cousin's 8088. And... I would say that in some ways it got me here. So 8086 and 8088. Yeah, I mean, 8086 is really what started it all. But I mean, I feel like the 8088 was the more well-known popular one. Um, but yeah, they kind of yeah. come as a set, yeah. really. Okay. <sighs> well, we we have uh, we have our... our uh... Or 12, this doesn't feel like this? a party anymore now. It's, yeah. <laughs> it's just somber because we have to serious, we have to play serious favorites. thinking. Yeah, <laughs> I, I think there. I mean, there's a lot of themes. Uh, uh, there is a lot of intel oh, uh, on this list. Well, I mean, as much as haters want to hate, it tells you about the dominance that Intel has had on the PC industry for the last yeah at three decades. I right? almost I was considering Athlon sixty four, but I just like the. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot power. of people asking why nobody said uh, Athlon 64. I consider uh, in the it chat. as well. It's it's really hard to pick when you only have three options. I know, right? Here. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's the thing. Is there? And, and this is the crazy thing. Adam and I were looking at the first year they started the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. The Beatles did not get in the Be first list. Huh. Beatles didn't even get in until the third year. Yeah, and I and I just like that's insane, right? Because the Beatles are like, you know, they're really steps above everybody else but i i do think is it was just the timing it was just a vintage of yeah it was started in the mid 80s for the rock and roll hall of fame yeah, 86 yeah and you're, you're not thinking beatles in 1986 i mean yeah you it recognize feels, you know they're gonna get yeah. in you know they's gonna get in but it's yeah. just like you want to do it's, something more media it's almost i mean we'll have to see how it plays out in the future but it's almost like us talking about the rtx stuff right yeah now. you know i thought 64 i thought about two but then it's like uh, athlon 64 you know, Conroe and then 8086, 8088. This is just like, as far as a historical, who deserves to be remembered forever? Yeah. It's kind of like everybody, they all do, but right now. It's really hard because, I mean, I have an Athlon system. It's still running in my parents' house. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> you know, but when you put it up against things, even even against something like the IBM keyboard that you mentioned, like you have all this, all this like really historic 
hardware that deserves a mention now as opposed to waiting that it's hard to put something a little newer in its yep. place yeah no i mean i mean i said that's clearly like it it is no doubt that ryzen 3000 if not 1800 you could either pick the first ryzen because mm -hmm. it was the first one or you pick ryzen 3 there's no doubt it's going in right but it's too soon yeah it almost still feels you know yeah, I mean, there's arguments for it, but yeah, it's 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 too soon. We're we're still too in it. Yeah, so I mean, this was actually this this was actually a super hard like assignment for me. Like I'm, <laughs> when we talk about this, I'm like, oh yeah, I can come up with that stuff all day, no problem. But then narrowing it down to three. Yeah, you got to pick three. Picking you got to pick three, three. and you got to argue cool. for it. Athlon sixty four, I could argue all day too, I, and I will. One of us will eventually. It'll get nominated because. Hey, I have it literally written right here, just in case one of y'all had mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. That was my number two choice for yeah. CPUs. And we, got, we got more years to come. Do we want to vote on the first round picks? Do we well, want to I, do I don't, we just Yeah, I don't, think we, I don't think we do rounds. We I don't think we need up. to like say, hey, okay, so who one gets round in? from each. Yeah. Well, I think we just have a list of 12, and we need to pare it down to three. Okay, so I'm going to, should I run them off, or you've been taking notes? I've been taking, uh, notes, I've been taking notes, too, but you can go ahead. Uh, so we have Sandy Bridge. Basically, 2,500K, 2,600K, still going strong. Core 2, X6800, basically Conroe's. So Core 2, we got to sort of cut it off at some point, but we'll say Core 2, original Core 2. We have Creative's original XFi. We have Corsair's original K70 RGB keyboard. The original IBM Model M keyboard. AMD Polaris changed basically everybody's access to low-end uh, uh, graphics. Razer Death Adder, 10 million mice sold. Socket 7, when we all Utopia. could get along. <laughs> when we all could get along, folks. GeForce 256, the first oh, GPU. Man, it's hard to decide. I know. <laughs> GeForce 8800 GTX. And, and hell, that's like, you know, Intel 8088, 8086 is going in there. It's a question <laughs> of when. Do you do it now immediately, <laughs> or is that just too predictable? I don't know. Look well, at that list. Well, so I, 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 have a, I have a recommendation. Uh, we don't necessarily have to do this, but I mean, it seems like other than Socket 7, there's three categories. We have CPU, GPU, and and peripheral. I like how you pass we, through a middle finger there. <laughs> yeah, well, if, if, if we wanted to, we could we could do one from each, you know, the, an idea. I'm not saying we have to. Just do we want to? I mean, that's that changes a little bit. I mean... Mm. I, feel I mean, like or, I mean, we could do three CPUs, you know, or whatever, I, you know. I feel like maybe for the inaugural year, we could just kind of go freeform, and if it if it's unwieldy, we can start doing it by category in right, subsequent right. years. Yeah. That's that's my personal okay. take. I I sort of think we do it in waves. We all nominate one. Everybody, well, but see, that's well, but then we, we nominate our own one. We just have to vote. Well, I mean, we vote. So now we're going to vote because I swear to God, like, if I had to put some of these other ones again in some of the ones I picked. So are you yeah. saying you can't vote on your own? No, you can. I'm just saying. That'd so we just good. we can select from the entire list. So everyone list. starts with one. The entire list. <laughs> so everybody, that's going to make it harder. I'm inclined to take Adam's recommendation and say I would vote just for the core architecture that Gordon brought up. Just to, because all of us are kind of similar with the Intel things, and that was the original version. That was the root of it all. I would hang my hat on the 2600K as an individual part, but I think for the first wave of the Hall of Fame, with all of us being so close, it might just make sense to say core architecture there. Yeah, but the only argument against that, I was trying to do that because I wanted to win. It is, <laughs> we're still technically on core, right? I mean, core has continued on yeah, branding and yeah. they're very different. I would they just are very leave different. it as it is and then just we can vote and see where well, the chips fall. Yeah, yeah I, I think I would say if I were to, if I had to be fair, to be fair, it should be core two. Well, I will say core two, basically the core two series, which was not the same as the the it was not yeah. the same as Sandy Bridge, certainly right. not the same as what we have today, right? So Core 2, uh, Sandy Bridge parts, X-Fi, uh, Corsair K70, Model M, IBM keyboard, Polaris, Razer Death Adder, Socket 7, GeForce 256, GeForce 8800, GTX, Intel 8086, 8088. I mean, if we see this list in front of us, is there anyone, any of them that we think, like, ah, that doesn't really hang? Well, I think we're just... No. No, I mean, I think yeah. we're just going to vote, right? And then we have to kind of yeah. go through subsequent rounds after that. Sure. All right. Well, all right. so the thing is, the first person who votes, if they pick something, come on, this is the way it works in all the reality TV shows. Yeah, right. You go like, well, okay, I agree with that. And it just sort of like that 
that first one just goes in. It eliminates it from the list. The first one's going to be easy, I think, because I'm going to say, I'm going to vote for, I'm just going to start this, kick us off, right. Intel 8088. Okay. That so what we're, 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 we're labeling, hey, this one ha is safe? No, no, I'm saying who wants to vote for it now. So now who, so now that I've said that. Me. I mean, <laughs> kind of knew it, though. <laughs> but now Adam and Brad, does it, what deserve... I mean, I don't have any personal affinity for it, so there's other things I'd vote for, but I mean, for your I'm, first, not, I'm not against not. it. So I think we should just put this as like two votes, right? We can, if we might have to do like yeah. semi-final yeah. rounds on okay. this, right? Okay. But does Brad, do we just want to save vote, submit, and then no? I, I think I want to save for one of the core two Sandy Bridge things. Core Sandy Bridge, yep. All right. So just two votes on that. Okay. Oh, so we're, are we just going down the list or what? Well, I think it sort of makes sense to because you basically have a list of nominees. Mm -hmm. Everybody mm -hmm. sort of picks their first pick. I mean, that you would pick from this list. Okay, so then so we ask, just vote. Uh, okay. So we'll ask each of you what your first pick would be, and then we'll just start tallying the votes to figure out who the semifinalists are. Got it. Let's just say we. How about if we each get five votes to cast across all of them? Five votes. For There's the only for yeah. semifinals, I guess. Oh. So that we narrow it down. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like I said, we're kind of winging this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah sorry. I, I can, I can sorry, dig that. Folks. I can dig that. This is very much like folks. the earlier <clears throat> episodes, right? Yeah, right. Like, let's just, let's just go down the doing. list and we each get five Old votes. School. Okay. All right. Uh, then, Brad, do you want to put your five down? I, I can keep track. Uh, sure. I will go with uh, the Intel 2600K. <laughs> I'm going to go with mine. Uh <laughs> The GeForce 256 in the IBM Model M. I'm going to go for the Death Adder, and I will go for the 8088. So you said uh, 2600, or no, wait. Sandy Bridge. Yeah, 2600K, yeah, Sandy yeah. Bridge. Sandy Bridge works. Are, are we are we lumping that into one 2600 Sandy Bridge? Because those were kind of two yeah, yeah, topics. Just, so it's now it's just one. Sandy Bridge. It's okay. just Sandy Bridge for those. Just call it Sandy yeah. Bridge. And he also okay. voted for GeForce 256 and the IBM Model M keyboard. Is that who your picks are, Brad? Yeah, and the Death Adder in the 8088. Yeah, he got that one already. Uh, and the, I'm sorry, the other one was 256? Mm-hmm. All right, so Sandy Bridge, Model M, Death Adder, 256, 8088. Mm -hmm. All right, Gordon. I'm going to go Intel 8088, GeForce 8800 GTX. Oh. <sighs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am actually, I'm very swayed by Elena's argument, Polaris. Yay. Okay. <sighs> Gosh. But it technically is still around. I it's still around, but it's Doesn't it's on matter. the fair it's, it's on the star. farewell tour. Okay, okay yeah, come yeah, on. Yeah. It's on the farewell tour. It's like Kobe taking seventy five shots in a game. <laughs> um, you got two more votes. I got two more votes. I am going to pick Damn. Damn, damn. Let's buy you some time. Uh, what's chat saying? I'm sure there's got to be a lot of chatter about this. Uh, you know, a lot of people are still angry about things that weren't nominated. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, Okay, name a couple. Yeah, well, VR. Uh, a lot of people were saying the original really? Oculus. Uh, mm -hmm. I, I think that's mm -hmm. along Phil. the lines of the RTX with me. I think that's going to be an eventual yeah, nominee. Yeah, I think that's more, it's too soon still. still. around. Uh, and people uh, talking about their, their old systems, uh, like the, the uh, 2600, they got USB 3 on it. Uh, the MX518, they prefer over the Death Adder, that's Whiskey Omega. Uh, so... Nothing else? I'm really surprised. I thought there would be... Uh, well, I, Isonis uh, says it's a 8086, 88, uh, 8088, no contest. So we yeah. definitely have... Big vote there. So uh, that's easy. Easy pick. Elena took that easy out there. Uh, and then twi <laughs> Twisteds is asking why Ivy over Sandy. Bridges of the bridge. Why not? Uh, yeah, why, why Sandy Bridge? Why not Ivy Bridge over Sandy Bridge? Ivy Bridge was really great, but I felt like at that point it was iterative, whereas Sandy Bridge was more of, it actually had the first impact. So you just, at least I just remember it better. Yeah. Yep. So I'm finalizing. 
I'm going with 8088, okay. 8800 GTX, mm -hmm. Polaris, mm -hmm. Corsair keyboard, RGB keyboard. Got to vote for your own. <laughs> I had to throw that one. I just because yeah, and then also uh, I'm going to say Sandy Bridge. Oh. I, I, I think it's I, I think it's a very persuasive argument. You know. Oh no. Yeah. <laughs> pe pe people are wondering why we didn't uh, nominate RGB water cooling. That's too. Uh, it's a little too abstract. I think. Yeah. No. You know? Yeah. Sure. Like RGB. Like literally after the Corsair RGB keyboard came out, the world changed. <laughs> right within 12 oh, months, yeah. everybody had them. Everybody. Key, and then it went into laptops. It, it really that, did. That was like the start of the trickle, right? It just yeah. If you think about just it, just kept like <laughs> reaching further out. Uh, Renee says a uh, forty oh four mic drop. Intel forty oh four. A little too pre PC in a way. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was wondering earlier how far back we could go. <laughs> IBM three seventy <370s, laughs> slash three seventy system. Yeah. Three sixty three seventies. Like, are we including mainframe system? <laughs> you could. <laughs> yeah, if you wanted. Uh, okay, Elena, uh, pick five. Okay, eighty eighty eight. Um, Polaris. The IBM Model M. Uh, can you scroll up? Cause I oh. actually <laughs> sorry. Uh, let's see. G Force two fifty six. One more. Ooh, this one's hard. This one's hard. Someone buy me time. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I will say. Okay. okay. Uh. Having lived through some of this, and I'm just moving Sandy my Bridge. lips now. And uh, wait, oh, you hadn't had Sandy Bridge? Or Sandy Bridge. All right, cool. Uh, and then for me, I, I'm go I'm going to do Sandy Bridge as well. Uh, I'm going to do the Death Adder. Uh, I'm going to do that was two. I'm going to do the 8800. I'm going to do the Corsair K70. Uh, and then the. I'll do the 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 Model M as well. So, hmm. All right. Well, we've we've got one that has four votes, which is uh, Sandy Bridge. So, that, and 80, yeah. well, and eighty eighty eight has three votes. And eighty eighty eight has three votes. Model M has three votes. But I think we have to all consider them as semi finalists because people can change their votes once we get down to only three votes per person. Yeah. Yeah. So so sure. m moving on, I'm going to call it Sandy Bridge, right? Sure. Uh, okay. Sounds good. Until Sandy Bridge moves on, uh, IBM Model M moves on, uh, Intel 8086, 8088. How many votes does it need to move on? Well, th those are the ones that got the most. And then, I mean, there's some that didn't get any votes, so are we just safe saying... Yeah, yeah. skip those. Yeah. Yeah. Skip yeah. those. Okay, so then I'll, I'll just keep the ones that got any votes. Okay. Then, then it's Corsair K70... Got two votes. Uh, AMD Polaris got two votes. The Razer Death Adder got two votes. The GeForce 256 got two votes. And NVIDIA 8800 got two votes. So we have, what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Can you list it all again for me? Because I want to just have it written out so okay. I can look at them. Intel Sandy Bridge, mm -hmm. IBM Model M. Mm -hmm. Intel 8086, 8088, mm -hmm. the Corsair K70, mm -hmm. AMD Polaris, mm -hmm. Razer Death Adder, GeForce 256, and GeForce 8800. Okay, thanks. Cool. So we have we have eight, and we need to get down to three. So five dun, dun, dun. need to get taken out of here. So are we going down to just three votes now, right? This is the final round. Yeah, that uh, that makes sense, right? I like it. Sure. All right, <laughs> then uh, Brad, why don't you kick us off? Oh man, give I us three votes. Sure. I didn't my <laughs> <sure>. <laughs> All right, I'll go with IBM Model M. I feel it's iconic. I will go with. Damn it. <laughs> uh, has to be the eighty eighty six. Uh, and I will go with the GeForce 256. Nice. All right. Uh, Gordon, G-Man. <sighs> three votes. Just, I get three votes. Ooh, this is hard. Yeah. 
River 2 also thinks the 8086 should be in. Yeah, that's just an easy gimme, right? That's just... <laughs> but what is number two and what is number three? Wait, so you're putting one vote on 8086? Yeah, I, you have to. I, okay. just, I, you, right. I just sort of think you have You no don't choice. have to. You I don't just, have to. I stole a vote from pretty much you, everybody. You can't vote <laughs> against... <laughs> you can't yeah, vote I'd, against the beginning. All right. So you have two votes left then, Gordon. <laughs> I will go with I will go with 8800 GTX. Okay. Your voice sounds so solemn. He's very no, because serious. I, this is supposed to be very fun. Serious. It's very <laughs> and it's awful. And I, I will go with Yeah, I was actually expecting there to be more shouting and yeah. like fierce debate and all of us are just like I'll go oh, Polaris. But I, well, I like that too. Oh no. It's it's all becoming a, a politics thing, which uh it is. You know, yeah, That's which what, one? It's not even just we politics. We see a professional yeah. booth here. Yeah. It just feels like Sophie's <laughs> choice. Well, and we we just had uh Grums uh, in the YouTube chat say what are they doing? <laughs> we are making <laughs> entries for the Hall of Fame hardware that we think should be remembered forever. Put up in the stars. You will True. come and visit any museum one day. That's what we're doing. Uh, all right, Elena. All right, can you can you remind me of what Brad and Gordon voted on? Uh, Brad voted on the IBM Model M, the Intel 8086 and 8800, uh, and the GeForce 256. Okay. Gordon gave it to the Intel 8086, the AMD Polaris, and 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 GeForce 8800. Okay, it does get political. Right. I'm already regretting it too. I just kind of like <laughs> already regretting it. Uh, it's are you, so hard. So are you gonna do your first one for Intel 8086? Yeah. 8800. Yeah. Right. I mean, pretty much. I only have okay. two votes All at right. this point. Um. What's number oh, two? That's so hard. Oh man. Oh. Uh, well, while you're while you're <laughs> deliberating, uh, we just got a a super chat uh, oh. from Joshua. Thank you, Joshua. And uh, he's asking, uh, can you do a fan awards or a straw poll? Oh, you know, yeah, maybe it would be cool if we could do an easier poll for online. Then yeah. I would like to hear what people think. I know. Yeah. You know, and it's we definitely it, want people to chime in. We know, know it's controversial because it's just like every time you hear about who got into the Hall of Fame for what. Like the, he has one, you go like he or she wasn't already in there, or it's like what? Come on, that's, or then you go too soon, or what about so and so? Yeah, right. Uh, okay, I think I've made my decision, but like Gordon, I feel like I'm going to regret it a little bit. All right, all right, do it, Elena. Oh, uh, Polaris. Two votes. Polaris, okay, is one. And G Force two fifty six. Two fifty six. Wow. Okay. Uh, and I am going to do uh, Sandy Bridge. I'm going to do the Model M, uh, and I'm going to do the 8800, because it might have a chance. <laughs> All right, which leaves uh, the Corsair K70 had no votes, so I'm taking that one off. Uh, do we have three? Do, are we down to three yet? Do we have three top votes yet? Uh, there's only one that got three votes, and that was the 8086. So that's in. 8800. Uh, that let's is, just say that's in. Yeah, let's let's lock that one. That one's obvious. Uh, Wait, can we throw confetti for it? Please. Yay! You can't actually pick this up. <laughs> uh, and then there's only one that got one vote, which was Sandy Bridge. Um, Sorry, Sandy and Bridge. And then the rest got two votes. So if we could, if we we, we could take off Sandy Bridge, which leaves us. Uh, and oh, and the Death Adder didn't get any votes either. So we're we're down. We need to cut. We need to cut two. So maybe we put this one to the audience. Uh, because we, we've got the Model M got two votes, the Polaris got two votes, the 256 got two votes, and the 8800 got two votes. So, to, should, should we put it to, to chat to say, hey? Or we force we force ourselves to vote taking 88 out of there. If you pick one. between So between what, Sandy like, Bridge... Like which one would yep, you drop? Yep, yep. Between yeah. Sandy Bridge, Model M, Polaris... Well, oh no, we have to drop two. Yeah, no, eighty-eight hundreds in there. Yeah, we oh, we already got rid of yeah. Sandy Bridge. I only had one vote, so yeah, these are all the ones with two votes. From so all the ones that had two votes were Polaris, two fifty-six, eighty-eight hundred, and Model M. Uh, Wings Cancer says IBM. Oh, the Ruru Two says uh, it's too soon for Polaris. Renee that's says eighty-eight hundred well. drop. I, that's why I regretted it. I, I'm regretting that. Takashi that's why says. I was on the fence. Takashi is given one for 8,800. Uh, Whiskey says drop Polaris. Uh, Psycho Gaming says uh, drop one NVIDIA and Polaris. 
Ruruchi says Polaris didn't do anything spectacular. Desmond says 8,800. Or, um, no, 8,088. That's already in. Uh, Takashi says, oh, Hookster says IBM Model M. CC says Model M. The Model M is the one piece of hardware that we talked about today that if you walk into a nerd's office and you are you see it, you're like, I know what that is. I love you. I want to give you a hug. <laughs> and I feel like that alone makes it worthy of inclusion. Yeah. And it, that thing is so iconic and it's so great to use if you ever have the, you know, experience of touching one. And and we're getting we're getting a lot of love for the Model M in chat, uh, but there's not a ton of love for Polaris. Wait, um, so are we actually allowing chat to decide it or are we actually just doing I'm, I'm just saying that that's the, the, off the island. you know. So that, who's already in? 8088s is the only one that's in for sure. What about 8800? Two votes? Uh, yeah, the rest got two votes. Yeah. Polaris, 256, 8800, Model M got two votes. Model M definitely has uh, the chat's vote. And 256. Uh, and Polaris is the anti-vote. But we're getting some votes for the 8800 in chat. Um, mm. So second... Yeah. Well, what if you we had to pick between those four? 8800, Polaris, Model well, the, M, that, that is the four we're trying to pick from. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody... Nobody's really saying anything about 256. Oh, so we're, we're picking again. And a I, lot of people are saying Polaris is too soon. If Okay, so we're going to pick again from that round, from those four. Does that make sense? Sure. Yeah. Can we get two votes? Choices, two. GeForce, GT... It, God. Do GeForce we, 8800, GTX, used to be behind it, folks. Polaris, Model M, 256. Oh... Damn it! I'm regretting that. Can you imagine the Sanders actual now. like baseball Hall of Fame? God, the, right? the yeah. Difficulty that is. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I know it's terrible. Oh, if I had to pick between those, I would say uh, model. Pick M. two. None of this is if you can turn a vintage show. Is pick that, two. Is that what uh, we're doing? I would say eight eight hundred model M. Okay, Gordon. I agree. Pick two. <laughs> uh, Elena. Oh, I'm gonna have to stick with Polaris, everybody. Sorry. Right. Polaris for Elena and, and one more. I know. Uh, yeah, this is rough. Super rough. Model M. All right. Well, Model M got four votes because I'm I'm going with Model M and I'm going with 8800. So Model M got four votes and the 8800 got three votes. 256 got no votes and Polaris got one vote. So, so Model M is the second inductee. Yeah, into the, the vintage NBA full nerd. <laughs> <laughs> it's all yeah. about the vintage. You have to Look, respect, we are paying. You have to respect your history. I, why would the Beatles not go in that history. first? The Beatles should have gone in the very you know, first day to start the rock. And I, you gotta I, lay the roots before you build up. Also, I want to point this out. We did end up going with one CPU, one GPU, and one piece of peripheral. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, it's just. I mean, that's just funny. We didn't plan it that we way. But we it, did not plan it. Yeah. So yeah, there we go, uh, Gordon. You, you do you have the list? Uh, I have the list. So now we're basically left with three. No, we're done. We're, we're done. done. That's it. Yeah, Wait, we're we still all have eighty eight hundred got plus, three. No, no, oh. because it's still it. It got yeah. a majority. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Majority. So and and the chat was in it too. So yep. that actually, I think this actually aligns with what chat was saying. Yep. Yep. Well, so, you know, yeah, y'all are smart. This is not people's choice. <laughs> well, <this> is, you <laughs> know, the, hey, you know what? The full nerd uh, includes includes it audience does, participation. And so. I know this because of the twenty two hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep. So. It's very possible just, we should totally set up a straw poll and leave it in the YouTube comments. Yeah, for this. yeah. I think for next year we should probably make our picks a little earlier, perhaps, and that way we can have time to like share it with everybody, promote yeah. it, campaign for them. That's yeah. true. Good I call. mean, I guess okay. that that's, but then it doesn't give you any maneuvering because sometimes like I heard arguments and then I changed my mind on the fly. Yeah. Like I was going to go Pentium 2 should get a, a, a vote this year. <laughs> yeah. I know it's hard. Well, there's uh, always next year. Why don't you tell we them? We can expand it so yeah. that there's one that we do have in advance and then the rest are kind of on the fly. <laughs> true, true. Why, so, why don't you tell people the uh, the three, the the first inductees the into the Full Nerd Hall of Fame? first inductees into the annual Nobody Wait, Cares About Full Nerd <laughs> Hardware Hall of Fame. Easily in <laughs> easily <laughs> <are> ridiculous. <laughs> this is just sad. I know, right? make noise. How did I not wait, get wait, the blower you one? Do you have a sound clip of the I, mean, I, I have a sound clip of. You're supposed to make that weak at the end. Dude. Intel 8086 and 8088. Yep. The more popularized version. It's where it all started, folks. Yep. 
Clear. And also, second official nominee to the Full Nerd Hall of Fame. No surprise, IBM Model M Buckling Spring Keyboard. Amazing. A classic. I'm breaking mine out. It's in my garage gathering dust. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. You should bring it in. And the third inductee into the Full Nerd Hardware Hall of Fame is NVIDIA's GeForce 8800. 100 GTX, 8 series really, you can count yeah. the 8800 GT and the 8800 GTX. Yeah. That's the third one, and that was hard. That was really oh hard. Oh my god. Yeah. That was really yeah. tough. So, I thought that was going to be a quick fun segment. Yeah. That was, that was quick hard. Nor fun. No, that We're was like battling an hour uphill. In. <laughs> uh, and, uh, you know, I, I plan on uh, kind of making some sort of uh, thing on the wall over here to kind of list out the the Hall of Fame in, oh, in a cool in way. Part. So I'll bring in the Model M keyboard. Yeah. We'll just, so we'll, we'll have something in the set permanent that you know has the Hall of Fame. Uh, and if yeah, if we have the hardware, if we can uh, get it or put something. Put it right next to Employee of the Month. There you go. That's a good place. <laughs> Perfect. To put it. All right. Well, we got uh, we got more segments going on. I here. know that was really tight. Something, so, something a little more lively. Yeah, well, a little more lively. Our favorite full nerd moments. Yeah. <laughs> Which <laughs> something fun. There are a lot of moments to pull from. Uh, I do want to hear the chats. Uh, moments because uh, I, oh, yes. I, I want to sprinkle yes. those in but we have some favorite moments uh, as well yeah. Do, should, should we play some clips yeah all right then. i'm excited for this i think what well, one moment that we were all all very excited about uh even at the time was uh when hort uh when hayden took the the, the keyboard challenge oh, in man. episode nine uh, should, should i play that clip that's, for, uh, that's in the top three moments of my life <laughs> like i'm not gonna tell which of my daughters are behind it but one of them is behind that moment with hayden that that's is funny. just uh, then let me uh, let me play the clip and we can uh, we can talk over it. Should so, we get to the main uh, the main event here? Now the main, main event. event. Everybody, if you're watching, you see all these keyboards. If you're listening, in front of us are I don't know eight keyboards. Seven of them are mechanical. Yeah. <laughs> Did I even count yeah. that right? One, no, you didn't count. There's right. eight. One of them is a dome <laughs> keyboard. I brought that <laughs> so that oh, Hayden. Man. Or whoever is taking also, the challenge. The, the set looks so different. You it know, does. I mean, when you have like a wine tasting, they give you something. A lot less so RGB. You can, like, I don't know. Yeah, right. I don't well, know what it is. I'm only counting seven keyboards. Is it? Wait, I think seven? you're crazy. Okay, there's seven keyboards. <laughs> I know he's steady. One of them's a dome keeper. Now, well, of course, it's his job. Now, Hayden is a keyboard up, snob. He's, like he studies all his life. Keyboard snob, right? Everybody's like, oh, so what do you prefer? Well, throwing you under the bus here. I want cherry reds. Now I'm like that too because I like cherry blues. Whatever. Everybody has the Falcon North best box. Thank you, Brad. Cherry Blue or get out of here. I actually, I love the Razor Black Widow and they got rid of it. And I, even though I've gone through two or three of them for years before that, I switched brands because I need Cherry Blue more than I need a Razor Black Widow. Yeah. Do, you, do you miss your Black now, Widow, Brad? I'm bringing this up because I'm like, uh, I, I got another like one now. Cherry oh. Red. <laughs> nice as well. I'm a Cherry Red fan. But everybody I'm says loyal. this. It's just like they say, oh, well, I can't drink Pepsi. I like Coke. Right? <laughs> I actually don't believe it. In fact, I've done this before, which is why I'm doing this now. There's only one person on the Earth keyboard I've ever run into. I'm going to give a shout K70. It, it's uh, Corey, oh, the former nice. PC <laughs> gamer man. I heard about that. Who was the rain man of keyboards. <laughs> like, you would, you'd give him a keyboard, and he would be like, cherry green. These keys were made. Who, who was this you were talking about? Of 2014. <laughs> <from PC laughs> he had a problem in yeah. machine number oh, five. Wow. Like, and he could do that. He... I've I given keyboards and goes, gonna tell you what I'm going to do it. I'll get them all wrong. I can tell you that. And I will try because I have a favorite. Uh, I thank you, Emil. Uh, we got $5 uh, in keyboards the super chat. Thank you. For four years. <laughs> there are crumbs on that so keyboard So I know still. that keyboard better than I know my own body. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I actually did bring a blindfold for Hayden. How we're going to do this is we're going to put a keyboard in front of him. I brought a. If this is an he actual. Looks, this, he looks ready. This podcast is not sponsored by Intel, but I have an Intel. An Intel uh, blindfold. They give this to you if you buy Intel integrated graphics for gaming. <laughs> is what they do. <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna do. That's a good joke. I can't make fun. That's a good joke. One day it'll be. You like, should actually give it to me. Almost got me. Yeah. Yeah. Because like, <laughs> you got integrated graphics. You don't want to look at it. It's gonna be ugly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a keyboard in front of Hayden. I'm gonna hold up the sticky it'll say what the keyboard is what type of technology or what color or whoever we have a razor keyboard we have a roamer we have a blue we have a red brown i don't even know and then i'm gonna hold it up to the camera sorry for audio people i can't say because if i say then i i, I don't want to give him any hints because by process of elimination he'll know 
that well, like I don't want to do this. Keep well, well, maybe uh, maybe do it in a we? specific order and remember the order you did it in. It's so dark then, in the well, I feel like if I get it right, we should we should get a. If he gets up. it right, yeah, we'll give yeah. Me, yeah. So okay. then I'll just say I'll say that it's makes a, sense. Or we're gonna uh, do that one. I'm gonna preface this by saying what I said to Gordon, which is. Uh, I believe the Razor keyboard and the Cherry Blues are going to be the hardest to tell apart because uh, those keyboards are, are, I mean, the the Razor Greens are just knockoff Cherry Blues, but we'll see. All right, and, and part oh. of the uh, the thing is that he, he can't handle the actual keyboard itself because right. obviously there's different sizes, so, you know, so I'm gonna, just pressing the keys. So I'm going to put the first one down. I don't know if people can see that on the camera. I'm holding it up. Go ahead. Yep. You can put both hands on there. It's right in front of you. You're kind of... Oh, he's he to hear. <laughs> the funny click, thing click. is, Adam. Uh, I believe those are my you can't favorite cherry blues. When it's like you from the past, oh, and you now oh, talking. Very good. <laughs> got, the blues. Got, it. got it. All right. Okay. I'm impressed. <laughs> it's always so far so good. Watch him do this. That's the easy one, though. That's the one you got to start with. I mean, yeah, those are the ones I know best. <laughs> As Gordon said, I know them better than my own body. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Man, I hate hearing my voice oh, back okay. on playback. <laughs> we all do. Uh, <laughs> it's right now. Some, I'm like, it's the worst. some crap over domes. <laughs> all right. All right. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh, I, I was mean, you were going to mess that up. <laughs> <laughs> that would be impressive. All right. What next to pick one. next? What to pick next? <laughs> For two. <laughs> Uh, so this is a linear switch. Uh, I can feel that right off the bat. Uh, and oh judging my God. by the resistance, <laughs> I'm going to say these are probably the, the blacks. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, 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 I don't know damn. if I'm allowed to say three the three. blacks on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> that's racist. All right. Um, damn. That's pretty good. All right. I'm so far, so one. good. He's warming those fingers up. I feel like I can't tell which one's past Adam. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> Gordon's face. Uh, did you give me the same keyboard? <laughs> oh, <my laughs> oh, serious. Oh, wow. All right. All right. Damn. He was not made up. I mean, he was blindfolded. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> and I believe you made sure that you couldn't see through the blindfold. Well, you could look down, but he wasn't, you know. Yeah, I know. He wasn't. There's no way. He didn't, he didn't need to. Because I did this. <laughs> Gotta get in there. Uh, so I can, I I can feel a, a slight bump uh, when I press these keys. So I am pretty sure that these are uh, browns. Wow, man. Yeah. On a roll. Holy smoke. <laughs> wow. <laughs> This is impressive. That is why this fan does our keyboard reviews. <laughs> yeah, I mean, a anytime anyone uh, ever questions the keyboard reviews in the yes. future, just we'll, Look we'll, at we'll this cut video. this little segment I mean, out. They, they will question that now. Like <laughs> you don't know. I, what I, you're I have done that about. actually. Like people are like, "Oh, what do you know about keyboard reviews?" And I've sent them that segment. Uh, so <laughs> on I get a slight bump, <laughs> um, but there's a uh, <laughs> very low actuation point on these. Uh, I think these are Logitech's Romer G Man. switches. Yep. <laughs> Wow. Yep. Good, good, good. Uh, they feel a little bit, a little bit like a cross between Browns and a rubber dome keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Holy smokes. Right, how many do we Definitely. have left? Definitely. We have two. Which they've more. improved though since then. <laughs> All right. Yeah, actually. Yeah. So this is a, a very easy linear switch. So these must be uh, Gordon's crumb stain. <laughs> 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 I like he only used one hand for that I one. Said, I said crumb stained, not something else that yes, sounds very crumb. similar. Oh, crumb with a... Ooh, R. Wow, we were racy back then before yeah. we were trying to court that. Disney. <laughs> and yeah, uh, this is uh, the the razor greens. Uh, they're yeah, they're wow. blues, but that's... they have a low actuation Ooh. point. Wow. No, that's a, that's a dome keyboard. <laughs> It's too clicky for those domes. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that's... That is impressive. That, that uh, seven for seven? Yeah. That is and every, eight for eight. Eight, eight, eight for eight. that black uh, oh, man. switch up. That's man. every single that's, keyboard. That was my yep. favorite. My single <laughs> favorite moment of working at PC World so far. That's not just my favorite full nerd moment. Not even just for... 
uh, how Hayden just nails every single one. But the fact that Gordon tried to put the, or put the same one in front of him twice. Well, right, because you got to... I didn't, I didn't it's know. Just, it's so classic Gordon. Yeah. It's just so classic. Classic I Gordon, just, classic Hayden. I mean, that is just yeah. like all time. I don't think anybody could get every single one of those keyboards right. I mean, that was seven different mechanical keyboards. He knew every single one of them. Yeah, yeah. And we were like, talking... To, to give a peek behind the curtain, we were talking in Slack about what moment should be on the show that's a word show and what or a clip show or whatever, 100th episode, and we all just immediately went, keyboards. Yep. Yeah, it, it's it's a favorite moment. I'm I'm glad uh, I'm glad I was there. Uh, and it is always funny to look back. Uh, oh, I, I, I do have to say that, uh, man, who was it in the chat? Uh, da, da, da. They said it was... Uh, Oh, uh, John said the best moment is when Gordon uh, was impersonating Mickey Mouse. Uh, that, that was, that was, that's always oh, their favorite. Well, that is a good one. Uh, and also, uh, man, who said it? Somebody says they always like uh, how you mess up the uh, the beginnings. Oh, yeah, Wings Cancer. Uh, best moment is Gordon trying to nail the intro every time. Uh, he did it once. I got it once. Yeah, it was by a couple times. A couple times. Yeah. Yeah. That Mickey Mouse moment. I do like those Mickey Mouse ones. Can we say that without Disney? You, you can say can. you like Mickey Mouse. Why not? Yeah, yeah. Because we're trying to get you know. Yeah. Oh, let me put the the graphic Add back us up. To the MCU. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's what I. Was, yeah, like. uh, we we have another clip, but it's 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 about three minutes long. Uh, the Guardians if, of the Galaxy worked out. You could have a total movie built around just computer nerds sitting around playing video games <laughs> and on their computers all day. That's that's isn't totally that, like that a, Ready wait, Player wait. One. There might be. Oh yeah. It would be done better if It'd Disney be done had better. it. Um is this is this the the one that I think it is? Yes, yes. Before is... before we get to that though, I got I got to say some people uh some people love the uh why Gordon is wrong uh Thank episodes, you. you know, the, Wait, the are half you just nerds. That? No, no. I I have to go back and look. Uh but yeah, some somebody said it's uh, not too hard. Maybe. Why is Gordon? Oh, here we go. Um Hookster. Hookster said why Gordon is wrong. They, they like <laughs> They like that episode. That was a good one. Um, and funny enough, uh, another peek behind the curtain for people: uh, the the episodes that have any sort of review in them usually get get a lot more watches and, and listens. Yeah. So we were uh, joking that our next <laughs> half nerd will just be something like Gordon the review. Yeah. Yeah, we'll review Gordon. <laughs> we, you know, and I will. Early on, when Yelp first came out, Will Smith and I, in our previous employer, when it came out, we reviewed each other. And we said harsh things on Yelp about each other. Just to, That's pretty good. That's pretty I was good. looking for. I wonder if the review of me by Will Smith is still in Yelp. And probably, like, probably. I couldn't it. find it. But uh, Alejandro says uh, that we should do a mon montage of eating paper. Uh, I did Ooh. not do that, but yeah, man, we've we've, we've eaten a, a lot of paper. Thinking about it. Yeah, we've eaten a lot of paper. I don't. I don't know if I'd like to do that because I feel like I'd be underrepresented. Underrepresented because I don't need a lot of paper. Uh huh. No, oh. Nor does Elena. Oh, hashtag humble brag. Yeah. Or maybe that's just brag. I yeah. I really that time I hit that SSD price was amazing, right? I thought that was that was like within a week of hitting that price. So that was impressive. and Ryzen. To me, you hitting the Ryzen price was the oh, same deal. Yeah, yeah. That one I think stands at my memory. I've been more. I've been really lucky with those. I mean, I, I I attribute it to luck, but like I guess the Polaris prices, well, the the not real Polaris. I prices. love this again. I was really lucky. <laughs> yeah, I think it is lucky. I mean, because there's not. I mean, what else would it? You know, there's no uh, real. No. I Idol Seven says uh, that they love uh, Gordon's rants about consoles. It, it, it keep it keeps them powered. It keeps to, them fueled. I try to, <laughs> yeah. Try not to anger yeah. people too much. Uh, should we play the next clip, Elena? You want to tell people why you picked this one? You know, it wasn't just me. Everyone else actually got on board with it once I mentioned it. However, oh, okay. fun fact, another peek behind the curtain, Adam tried to veto it because it makes him <laughs> <Yep>. uncomfortable. <laughs> so, Every time uh, I play it. I actually I, played it yesterday for, for Dan. <laughs> uh, Dan, who's the, the other video guy, uh, filled in for when AMD was here. I was on vacation. Uh, he, he just had a baby, and he said uh, that this is factually correct and Information. Uh, so with that, we'll roll it. Yeah, let me take that and move that. <laughs> I, I'm going to bring up a birth thing. Oh, no. no I'm gonna, I'm gonna birth thing. <laughs> oh, no. I don't, so, think I don't think we're allowed to talk about childbirth. On no, that. no, it's fine. It's natural, it Adam. It it's a natural way. part oh, of life. Oh, no. <laughs> so, I'm just going to sit back. That, no, anybody has not, Brad can understand this, but <laughs> Elena and, and, and Adam have never heard this. No, nope. but they will tell you at a certain point. Oh, 
yeah it's uh <laughs> we're at whatever uh, two centimeters yeah right <laughs> well <laughs> when they mean two centimeters they don't really mean two centimeters because when you know, like when i think two centimeters that's Rats actually like a measurement right, right that's on a ruler i can find it uh -huh. it's like a guess it's like it's about this wide well that, that looks like five centimeters i don't know it, but your fingers are bigger than that doctor's fingers <laughs> yeah okay we're getting some real talk on this podcast no, no, but last hey, week it was like is, you're, you're going okay. to the bathroom uh, and yeah. just, <laughs> look, the doctor's gonna like, say for today uh, no but i'm just everybody. saying well, don't, oh, don't, <laughs> adam i've never seen you so flustered oh, he's no, ahead don't again describe it he's as, like, yeah I have to describe it as centimeters. The doctor says, like, but they tell you something signal. to make you feel better. Oh, He's Adam is looking at his you know, The baby's probably going to be coming in you know, a couple hours or something, right? Yeah, <sighs> I think you're right, where it's it's a ballpark <laughs> estimate, uh, but better than saying, oh, it's a little dilated. Uh, it's kind a, of yeah, dilated. It's a medium. It's halfway it's dilated. Medium. Medium. Okay, no, okay. This CPU is 10, 12, <laughs> maybe 11 centimeters. I, I don't know. We need to put this on the uh, soundboard. <laughs> 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 Right? Adam, because, uh, Adam, give him a shot of your face because uh, it's amazing. No, look, no, I'm, uh, I'm he saying looks this the same the right now. Goes, oh, we're at you know we're at two centimeters. <laughs> oh no! Oh. Oh, okay, whoops! I forgot if I went oh, no. back to it, it starts you got over so again. Flustered. Sorry, you hit yeah. the wrong button. But that's I hit cool. the wrong button. Yeah, uh, it's uh, right. it was it's true though, and that was in reference to how like oh <laughs> seven <laughs> nanometer, ten nanometer, yeah. or whatever. It keeps going. Yep. yep. Uh, but basically, that's the whole experience yeah, it, where it made sense when it was in the context of the uh, yeah. talking about how when you actually measure the structures on a cpu they they just randomly yeah. pick something to make themselves feel better yeah. about it maybe uh dan, can, dan, dan did say uh in his experience recently uh they they was a percentage you know they said the the measurement thing but it was also a percentage like hey you know what we're 75 percent way there i i would yeah, take that because that can kind of go back and forth you know that can that could, if percentages can fluctuate adam you know. i'm about a uh, we're going to be done about an hour maybe yeah. five hours in actuality but i'm gonna tell you an hour <laughs> is it five hours or one hour i just then don't call it an hour just like hey like my sister was like i'll be up there i just have to put my shoes on well she'll be up in five minutes it's 35 minutes later <laughs> right to put your shoes on I just don't don't use a time frame then don't uh, two yeah. centimeters yeah. don't even just say that <laughs> yeah okay uh yeah anyway yep. uh, anyway yeah i'll say uh, uh quorum i now associate cpu process technology with childbirth <laughs> yes so yeah. yeah and so did gordon <laughs> uh, it's probably about as uh correct right uh, uh quorum in the chat uh, to move on says uh didn't didn't brad's daughter get locked out of the house once while we were podcasting oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. And That's it was winter. True. She was, oh yeah, no, it was spring. It was spring. She was all right. She, there's a tree in the front yard right there. She went and sat in it, crossed her arms and stared at me for, I realized she was doing it after we had continued talking for about 45 minutes. She went up sitting up there for a little over an hour, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Oh. Yeah, we, we've had some good times. Oh, did, did you give her ice cream? Like, oh, hey, uh, you want ice cream? <laughs> no, I'm a dad. I told her she should have remembered her damn key. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Also, you know, as a producer, I can say you can walk away at any moment. Don't worry, we'll, we'll cover for you. You know, uh, if there's an emergency. Oh man. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, I yeah. picked that moment just because I don't usually laugh quite that hard when I listen back on ep or listen to episodes. <clears throat> um, but I just did a pretty good ab workout yesterday. And now it hurts because I was just laughing so hard. <laughs> Ow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that uh, was funny. Any, any other uh, any other moments we want to call out? Did you not clip more? Uh, those were the two people okay. uh, the big two. asked me to clip. No, those are the big two, yeah. actually. Yeah, yeah for me, my favorite moments on the show are ones that aren't actually really easily clippable because yeah. I like deeply enjoyed our conversation with AMD recently. I mm. deeply enjoyed the conversations we've had with Ryan, with Will Smith. Like when we we're able to get people on here and spend an hour plus getting real nitty gritty about stuff that they care about. 
that's my favorite part of the show. Yeah. And and mine, obviously, you know, I'm kind of the only one who sees it because I'm back here, but I, I love just going through the chat, just seeing what people are saying. There's there's always way more chatter than, than obviously what I can say. And sometimes it's stuff that I wouldn't want to say on there. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's it's fun. And especially, you know, starting up the Discord. Uh, Discord's been a fun place and, and definitely helps me with the questions. So <laughs> actually, uh, I'm real glad that we moved to live chat because the first several episodes weren't. Yeah. And it was right. just us sitting here talking yeah. and it was cool and all but once we start saying oh you know whiskey omega said this and respond this funny joke yeah. hey didn't brad's kid get locked out or whatever <laughs> yeah. like it yeah. just adds i love being able to sit here and talk with all of you people well and to, the, to that same point uh it it literally took me a whole day to to edit full nerds you know because we would record it i'd have multiple cameras and audio so then i'd have to go you know and edit it to, you know and then uh, piece out the or edit the camera switches and then and then uh, uh, export out all, all the different versions and you know now I get to switch it uh, in real time so that that really helps <laughs> yeah you know, that's and, my favorite part <laughs> and I do like in the live aspect and having an audience input is it also keeps us honest too yes. True. Mm-hmm. to have like hey you're wrong or you're full of it on this beyond the, the trolls that are in there but I mean clearly it says I disagree based on this and then it also Adam reads it and like, yeah, okay, yeah. you know, we, it, it really, correcting in real time is actually very useful. Yeah. It also makes our arguments stronger a lot of times too, because someone will say, hey, hey, what about this? So then we end up talking about it from multiple angles. And then whoever happens to listen it um, on demand really gets like the benefit all, all of that discussion. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just amazing because we haven't dropped too, too many F bombs. Yeah. So uh, that tr- time Troy it says, uh, uh, Troy says their favorite is when Gordon keeps saying smooth 30. Oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, I just, can I do one of those? Smooth 30. Yeah. <laughs> I just turned on ray tracing. I'm getting smooth 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's sort of like a robot from Futurama. I don't think the classic story on that, I, I work with someone, he's at a competing. Uh, well, he's at a competing gaming website, and he said that about console gaming, and they said it was <laughs> smooth. smooth thirty. <laughs> you know, and it turned into a meme, of course, the, on the certain Reddit. The hilarious part is that that particular former colleague of ours is actually a PC gamer. <laughs> I. That's why it was really like what <laughs> smooth thirty. What the is that? Like, I, I, w- I will say there's a difference between frame rate and frame times because sometimes I can tolerate fifty <laughs> frames a second. You know, yeah. but if if I got frame drops and frame times, you know, spikes in there, I don't care even if I have 60 or 120, you know, like those frame drops are, are way more annoying than 50 frames a second. Yeah, but a constant, I mean, you know, a, a, a smooth 30 versus, <laughs> you know, 140 with some frame drops. I don't know which one I would take. I would probably take the, I would take the frame drops, honestly. I, I don't mind that over the, I mean, I, would, I know that 95% of the time jump. I'm getting 100. And, smooth yeah. can still be slow, Gordon. Yeah. <laughs> smooth, smooth. Uh, uh, we had some. I, I'm, I'm using a G-Sync HDR monitor, so I feel like I need to step back from this conversation. Yeah, you lucky. lucky. <laughs> you just, you just completely sidestepped all yeah. of that. Oh, you know what I'm thinking? I'm just screwed because both of our, our 30s at home are DVI only. Ooh. Yeah. Yikes. Yeah, and you know what? These next generation cards, no. DVI is dead to them. And mm-hmm. it's I mean, there are really, already some cards that don't have it, right? They're already, yeah, we're already there. Yeah. We've been there. Yeah. And it's really hard to find dual link DVI adapters from DisplayPort. Mm-hmm. I bought one. I'm returning it now. It didn't work. It just mm-hmm. didn't work. It is so. really hard. They're pricey. Um, that too. Uh, who is it? Uh, Mike Roy says, uh, Elena's deals. You can't beat her deals. Oh, thanks. Uh, yes. Yeah, pe- yes. People like hearing your, uh, your deal stuff. Uh, all right. Why don't we, uh, why don't we move on to, uh, some predictions and predictions. I, I would say this isn't like a, going to be a normal predictions episode that we usually do at the end of the year. This is just more for fun, you know, thinking that, Hey, we've done this for, you know, a hundred episodes now. And we're talking about Ryzen three, the RTX super 1080 super just came out today. You know, what will be, t- we be talking about in episode 200, which we did the calculation. And if we do one every, every week, it'll probably be, a uh, um, around two years from now, so middle you know, of twenty twenty one. Yeah, this is more yeah. like uh, us talking about you know flying cars and well, the like. and just trying to imagine like man, if we're really lucky enough to to continue to do full nerd for a couple more years, like man, what 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 what's going to have changed? Yeah. <laughs> that's the reason why journalists like predictions because we're never around to like, hey, <laughs> you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Flash Photo says uh, that they predict more uh, remote full nerd episodes. 
Yes. Yes. I do want to do some more from, uh, I, I definitely want to try to get one done at CES, uh, this year, uh, cause we have some special plans for that. Uh, yeah. Now, now that we figured out the, the show stuff, I, I think that would, uh, that would definitely be fun. Yeah. Everyone's remote for me. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know what, man, you know what we should do? We could, we should get a sponsorship. We should get, uh, uh, who could we maybe party city will sponsor us and we'll send and we'll send all of us out to brad's house and we do a live episode from brad's house oh yeah maybe one of us can be in the tree yeah at us for that. yeah we'll do it all yeah. from under the tree <laughs> brad, i'm maybe. actually next month i'm going to be in san francisco so we'll do an all in person yeah. episode. yeah, yeah. Um, so uh, Big Mom in the house says uh, 128 core CPU, calling it Threadripper mm-hmm. 5, 120 cores, 128 cores. What do you think? Who, who wants That's, to kick it off? Right, that plays into my first prediction. Oh, okay, do it. So We're going to have a truce in the core wars. I don't expect mainstream consumer CPU platforms to go beyond the level that Ryzen third gen is going right now. It's going to top out at 16 cores. All right, so you're not giving your full predictions for you want to just only do one aspect or you want to do all of it what's your what are we going to be talking about 20 what are going to be running in 2021 brad what's going to be in people's computers 20 2021 you're saying uh, at most the 16 core okay <laughs> any <laughs> else any other any other features that we think will be normal by then uh by then i think uh ray tracing is going to be more common than not in triple a games yeah two years okay. from now uh, especially with next year, all the consoles are coming out and they're going to have ray tracing support in there. So there's going to be even more incentive for Ubisoft and EA and Activision and all them to bake it in. I think two years from now, ray tracing is going to be much more common. I think it'd be uncommon for a game to launch without it in two <laughs> years. Uh, a triple A game. Um, that being said, speaking of games launching, I'm going to channel Hayden on this one, and I'm going to say we will not Star be playing Citizen. Star Citizen. <laughs> yep. yep, no, uh, totally with you on that one. <laughs> Is it just never going to come out? Uh, when, when yeah. No, no, it's never coming out. I was actually I was listening to to some old episodes for the trivia section we're doing next, and yeah, we were all, we were still talking about how Star Citizen was supposed to come out in what 2016 or yeah. something like that. Yeah. And it's yeah. just like it wow, three years later, he's been just rolling Yikes. that over. Yeah. from year to year yeah. for his next year's prediction. <laughs> uh, Hookster says uh, maybe a full nerd show using AI replacements. Uh, you know. Oh, Could you mean be. the Aegis? Yeah, we get Aegis maybe. in real time? Uh, Mike Roy says Star like Citizen 2024. <laughs> <laughs> and then in 2023, yeah. we're like, nah. Uh, That's when the beta, 2024 is when the beta comes out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Big Mom in the house is asking, uh, what, what about 8K, 8K PC monitors? Mm. I, they they will exist, but nobody will buy them. <laughs> yeah, I mean, in fact, they already exist now, right? Yeah. Really? Monitors but, or yeah. TVs? I know TVs are already out, but I don't. There are some monitors. Oh, are there? Yeah, Dell's so had they're one. They're super high end. Yeah, they're they're crazy. I'm gonna. Oh, oh, oh I had one more. I had oh, one more. Okay, go for it. Intel graphics are gonna be out in two years. They're not gonna challenge Nvidia at the high end, and they're not gonna challenge AMD's APUs at the low end. Is my other prediction. Mm. Do you, do I don't you think specifically they're going to ta- target like that mid-range then? I just think they're not going to be willing to price their processors low enough with gameable graphics to challenge AMD's APUs. Okay. Um, while we're on the topic of CPUs, excuse me, <clears throat> my prediction is that we are going to see eight cores be common and the norm for mid-range. So like your, your Ryzen 5 parts we'll just have eight cores as matter of course. Please be true. <laughs> <laughs> We're almost there. We're almost there. Ryzen yeah. 5 is yeah. 6 already, right? We are that almost there. Nice. And I think two years is a, a yeah. appropriate amount of time for it to start steadily march in that direction. When you like, think only on the AMD side or also on yeah, the but, Intel side? But here's the thing. On the Intel side, they won't have hyper-threaded. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it's, yeah. I mean, it's a core i5, right? <laughs> no hyper threading for you. <laughs> and any other uh, hardware predictions? Twenty twenty one. Should I throw some out? Yeah, yeah go, go for it. Go, go for it. it. I was. I actually was thinking about this morning, and I, because you know, twenty. It seems like sometimes, like oh, two years from now, that's a long ways away, but it's not that far. Quite I'm kind of bummed. Brad went first because I, I agree. <laughs> I think we've we've hit uh, sort of a <laughs> a singularity for core the core wars. 
I can't see high end where we are right now going any higher. I don't see I don't see like oh next year. I don't think we're going to see 24 core rise in our Intel parts by 2021 competing in that in that 4 to 500 dollar range. I, I don't think that's I don't think that's where it's going to go. I think Intel will come out with its 10 nanometer process by then. I mean for God's sake it's got to be out by then. <laughs> They're coming out this year, but I think they're going to be out. I think both Intel and AMD are going to sort of balance core count and efficiency. You know, I, I don't want to use the term IPC because I don't think it's really well understood. I would say what each CPU can do with each clock cycle, which one basically gives you more performance for the work that it has. I love multi-core. I love lots of cores. Uh, but I don't think most consumer applications are really using all that we have right now. So we're going to sort of pause that on the core on the core count war because people they, they need everybody to catch up. They need Microsoft to catch up. They need game developers to catch up. They need application developers to catch up. They're now affordable. Everybody's got them. No reason not to do it. Um, but I think they're just going to make these CPUs just super efficient. I think Zen three and you know. Uh, whatever that the 10 nanometer plus part that intel has in two years is going to be like really it's going to just do a crap load more work in at you know at the at the same clock and also i also think clocks are not going to go higher we're pretty much going to be stuck at four to four five for the next few years again probably four in fact because of the smaller process so i think clocks will be stuck i think 16 is probably about right 16 mid-range i agree with that uh you basically your core i3 will have eight cores probably and you know i3 then. not i5 yeah i mean i yeah i, I really think it's gonna it'll water it'll go lower so ryzen 3 core i3 eight cores so probably eight, like 12 eight, 16 probably eight, 12 16 kind of like that and then you know um i also think please yeah please i think i think it's great <laughs> I, that doesn't mean there won't be wars because there's still are there are still our wars the people who really need these things it's clear we're going to have a 64 core Red Ripper, mm-hmm. Intel's going to go after that as well. So um, for people who really need it for you know animation artists, you're going to be in 2021. You'll be looking at 64 cores in you know probably lower price, better cores. 64 is is going to be awesome, affordable for <laughs> content creation artists and Red Ripper and whatever you know the the big socket Intel part is by 2021. I think SSDs, uh, four terabytes. I mean, it won't be two terabytes will be standard on a mainstream build, and four terabytes will be sort of the the nicer end to have on a single single SSD. But what about this whole uncertainty with the tariff situation? I feel like that's the one variable that makes it hard to predict. Yeah, I'm not even worried about it. <laughs> and I do think so for storage. I think the the big growth is in storage. I think RAM. We may finally be in a transition to DDR5. I don't think capacity will go up that much. 16 gigs DDR5 sounds about right for um, maybe 32 if the density goes up. For graphics, I think NVIDIA firmly is in control of the high end. I think they have a big lead in ray tracing. And I think by 2021, I'm with Brad. Everybody who was hating on ray tracing, they'd be like, I never said that. I, mean, uh, I love ray tracing. <laughs> I, you were saying you hated it. I, I think they have that. But I think the really cool thing about 2021 is that mid-range, mid-range and lower is going to just be all-out bloodbath battles between Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA. I think sort of like you could see picture all three of those companies competing against each other at the same time. That's going to be amazing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you could sort of see like I could see basically 2070 super going for 2060 prices in two years. Right. I mean, that's that's not unheard of. We're, we'll see. have seven nanometer yeah. NVIDIA parts and we'll have newer iterations of. Uh, so you would actually see it start whatever. to go back down as opposed to it you know, creeping up steadily as it has in the past couple of generations. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, piggybacking piggybacking off of that and what I was going to say um, is that I actually, maybe this is more of a wish than a prediction, but I think if we get that kind of bloodbath, we are going to see much more attractive um, options in that like very lower end for APUs from uh, AMD, just because as we've said earlier, or Brad said earlier rather, that Intel is not like quite willing to cut into its own you know, pie really with its integrated graphics, but AMD is more than willing to say like, hey, here's your Ryzen 3 with you know some pretty decent graphics. You wanna go ahead and game, go for it. Yeah, but I, so I'm gonna disagree there with Brad. I think Intel's gonna come at AMD really hard 
with integrated graphics. I, right? No, I, I think right. so in discrete graphics. I do not think so in integrated graphics. I, I think, don't think they're going to touch the CPUs. I think they're going to go. My, my, I disagree, and I, I think Intel is in a wonderful position to be disruptive with graphics. It's it is, but they whether can, or not they will is the question. I think they will. I I really think when the first Intel uh, graphics part comes out, I think they're just going to mess with NVIDIA and AMD as much as they can. They can price them out of band where they shouldn't be, forcing AMD and NVIDIA to push prices down. And I think their their fight with AMD is mostly going to be in, in integrated graphics. They need integrated graphics to hang on to customers now, right? Especially because they're looking at fighting 7 nanometer um, AMD parts. In yeah. laptop, in low end, it's they really the, need to bring it. But to here's be the thing, though: Do you think they're really hiring the star-studded, you know, lineup they have so that they can pummel the heck out of AMD over integrated graphics? I mean, I wouldn't think so. Uh, you know, I, I think we're, we're we're shuffling the deck, going to smaller process, and then you know, the Intel also has the their they have their EMIB, they have all these different ways of packaging different processes together. So they've. I, you know, even they have realized monolithic is tough. We need to split these things up. So I, I think, I think we, I think it's going to be a, a wonderful time to, and it has been already. It's going to be an even better time to be into the PC. Competition is good. Competition is good. You get more performance for less money. And I think I mean, it's nuts. Uh, during Prime Day, I, I did a rehash of what I uh, normally write over Black Friday, which is what's the cheapest gaming PC you can build using mm. these deals. I basically doubled the capacity on a lot of the components over last fall's build, right? So like last fall I had the 2200G with like eight gigs of RAM and like um, a 120 gigabyte SSD. And this time I had 16 gigs of RAM <laughs> and a 240 SSD for pretty much the same price. Like the reason mm -hmm. it was a little more expensive this time, like I think 25 bucks more or so is because the cases weren't as cheap. Oh right, because of all the the tariffs on the cases. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. That's uh. What else in twenty twenty one? I think I think Intel is really going to shake it up in the five hundred and less market, like because people underestimate Intel. Don't underestimate Intel's. You know, they work real close with all these system builders because Intel's inside. That's what you see at Best Buy. That's what you see at Walmart. There's a reason if you go to Best Buy or Walmart now, so many of those systems have Optane inside of them. It's because Intel's going, hey. You want these marketing dollars, put some Optane in there. They're pushing they can do the same thing, the graphics. I don't think they're going to be able to compete with NVIDIA on the high end, and I wouldn't be surprised if NVIDIA's high end stuff stays just as expensive. Yeah, because there's just no reason for them to lower the price of a 2080 Ti or what its equivalent is. I mean, I can't imagine mm -hmm. what 3080 Ti is going to be like on 7 nanometer. Right? <laughs> That's just going to be, uh, excuse me, probably going to be an untouchable card unless you really want to go there with the money, and I don't think. AMD and Intel really even care to go there. It's the thing. They don't really care. You don't move a lot of those mm. cards anyway. Good market, mm -hmm. but you don't move a lot of volume. So, yeah. Well, we, we got a lot of stuff from the chat. Oh. You want to hear some Yeah, I do yeah. want to hear their predictions. Uh, on YouTube, uh, Alejandro two, says, no SATA ports and motherboards in 2022. Nah. Nah. Two legacy. Legacy doesn't go with that fast on PC. Look at ATX. Can't get rid of that. <laughs> I am <laughs> lugging enough SSDs around from all my past builds that I'm not going to buy a motherboard where I can't hook them up because yeah. I don't want to buy a bunch of new drives. <laughs> I like that, though. I like that True. idea. Yeah, you know, it could be. Maybe an option, at least. Uh, Flash Photo says uh, Gordon will buy a PS5 or the next Xbox by 2021. <laughs> yeah. I kind of have Yeah, I'm Hold not... your breath. <laughs> uh, Rue 2 says, uh, will we, be, it's a question, will we be playing Half-Life 3 before Star Citizen <laughs> in 2021? <laughs> In 2020, you can play Half Life 3 in Star Citizen on your starship. <laughs> nice, you're not going to be playing either. Nice, they're just they're forever off, mm -hmm. they're never going to come. Uh, Big Mama in the house uh, says maybe CPUs with onboard HPM. This will differentiate the price. If the price is right, I don't know if that's really. I, I do definitely think that for on the Intel side. They have an advantage with Optane, and they will be pushing that to their advantage. I don't know how that's going to manifest itself, but, you know, that actually could be a big game changer for Intel, what they do with Optane on their CPU, how they closely yeah, control when you, uh, consumer stuff. When they just had that competitive analysis of AMD that we referenced, you know, when AMD was here, uh, 
the thing they were pushing a lot in that assuming it was you know accurate and true and whatnot uh in that in that competitive analysis was their platform advantages their security which made everybody laugh but <laughs> yeah. octane 5g stuff like that so i i totally expect intel to be pushing that stuff hard too uh over on twitch uh, another twitch lurker says uh we will see am5 20 22 66 pin with 32 cores with three threads per core by 2021 uh yeah <laughs> okay well we'll take that gotta sometimes you want to swing <laughs> the fences uh and uh, northern tech hermit on twitch uh saying in episode 200 they predict uh we will be talking about a chinese x86 cpu manufacturer in some description with real products in the u.s i don't know i don't know if that's yeah yeah i think that's market in the u.s i don't think so i think it's tough too right i mean yeah it's even even with the no matter who's in the current administration i feel like large chinese companies have had trouble breaking into the u.s market x86 i my problem is i i think x86 is really tough just because of all the intellectual property it's really hard to get into it that's why there's really only two players and you have via that has a has a license and but they've gone nowhere but mm. even outside of that i'm just saying though like the whole marketing <laughs> around it is going to be difficult to get people to yeah i guess you know what on. i what i know is price is right for everybody in the entire world it's like oh price is right i don't care mm. you know uh over on our discord uh pseudo soul today uh says episode 200 amd puts down nvidia uh, Facebook sells Oculus. <laughs> Wait, what? Andy puts down Nvidia and and okay. uh, Facebook, Facebook sells might sell Oculus. Oculus. Yeah, I can see that. Might sell Oculus. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Hmm. But, but who would buy them? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's Oculus amazing. is real cool. I hope they. I mean, it's kind of a mixture of a nightmare and a dream that in, uh, Facebook bought them because Facebook has all that money, but they're creepy as hell too. So. Yeah. And I don't know what they would ever... It never made any sense, and I, I don't think they've really figured out what to do with it. It is almost mm -hmm. unfortunate they didn't go into somebody else who had a, a better path that they could have for it, it feels like. Yeah. But who knows? VR, we don't even know where VR is Maybe going Sony anyway. buys them. Yeah. That's uh, Bug Welcome. Lovers, Texas. Uh, Game Bacardi is predicting an I-10 101-00-0-0-0 KSF. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably right but i hope he's wrong <laughs> yeah i don't even know what i can say about those model numbers yet but they're, that that's, i have a lot of things i want to say if yeah. those are accurate if they're accurate it's it's a little confusing on yeah that. consumer's gonna need a lot of help intel confusing with its naming structure yeah. couldn't see that one coming you know i i mean i always love you always hear, like to hear these old stories they they had all the media down even real media not just like tech media they had the wall street journal we're in this room it's like a some kind of really nice conference room at intel and before I mean, people don't remember this now because all they're like oh yeah 2600k 7700k but you know but it used to be pentium 4 3 gigahertz pentium 4 3.06 gigahertz right that was really the, the and then at some point intel says we're going to use model numbers. We're going to use model numbers. And we're like, what, what is, what does nine six five mean? What, what is that? We're like, well, aren't people going to be confused by this? And Intel said to us, and they said, well, we think it's actually good if they're confused about the model numbers. Cause then they will ask the person who knows about it. <laughs> yeah. We're like, really? Okay. That was their way of trying to like sell you on it because it would give you job security. No, no, it was really like if you're at a store and you go like, "What's the difference between this, this, uh, you know, uh, Pentium nine sixty five and the Pentium D, you know, five fifty five or whatever?" Right? And it would be like, and then you would talk to the blue shirt and they'd say, "Well, this one's got hyper threading. This is a dual core, or whatever." And and uh, they actually but sold that as a feature of the model numbers. We all laughed. Everybody was like, whatever, you guys are so wrong. And then look at us. Oh, 2,500K? Oh, that's the best thing ever, right? Mm -hmm. And now model numbers are so ingrained into into all of it. Nobody would go like, oh, a uh, Pentium, you know, you would never go like, oh, Core i7, 3.06 gigahertz? What the hell is that, right? <laughs> you you want to see the model number. Now, you know, there's a, you know, Ivory Bridge, Sandy Bridge. Uh, Sorry, just saying. 
uh, a couple going nowhere. A couple more. Uh, Wings Cancer in the in the Discord says uh, by twenty twenty one, Brad will shave. What? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I had sideburns in fifth grade, and I've had a beard ever since it was possible. <laughs> For a couple jobs, I had to go down to the football string, but that's about it. Nice. Really? They really told you you couldn't work there if you had a beard? Well, I used to work in manufacturing, so I didn't want to oh. get my face sucked into machine and ripped off. Yeah, so. that's good. <laughs> yeah, good, uh, good call. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, a couple people, including Java's Best, has been absolutely yelling at me in the chat oh. uh, to talk about ARM and how ARM is going to be a big player in the next few years, especially in laptops and Apple. We'll see. I mean, we'll see. I am frankly doubtful. I, mm. I'm very skeptical of it. I've seen Windows on ARM. I've seen Windows on x86, and I, I don't think big they brought it there yet. Very big. I, very big. I don't think it's... I think the for PC, it's very difficult because it's all about legacy. I disagree, because it's about legacy. If I can't run this version of Quicken I bought in 20, you know, 2006, then I'm going to be screaming. I, I don't think ARM is going to work for there. On Apple, it's different because... Apple can force people to do things it that can, nobody else can. But I, I have also seen at least one conflicting, not report, but like somebody thinking that it's not actually going to happen. So I think we just have to see how it shakes out. That's a big shift for them. Yeah, I'm sure they have it. in. I, I've talked to enough people that it's real. It is there. They have it running. It's just a question of whether to pull the trigger or not and load everybody up and see if you can make one more massive architecture change and to see if Mac, Mac users will really go that far. I'm not sure they will this time. That's why I don't think. And I honestly think from a performance stand of view, yeah, if you have really high, highly optimized OS, highly optimized apps on ARM specifically for the hardware that you have, yeah, it's going to scream really well. It's going to be really power efficient. But you take all of your legacy stuff, everything that people have been running for a long time, and you throw it overboard. I mean, there's some things you can do, but are people ready to do that? That's, that's one of my issues with uh, Windows on ARM laptops. Uh, is that they're tied so hard to the Windows Store. Yeah. And the mm -hmm. Windows Store is just... It's been out for since Windows 8 now, so forever. And it's still just a flaming pile of garbage. <laughs> and developers don't really want to be there. It is. You can shake your head. No, I mean, there's I no, no, there's no reason to go in the Windows Store <sighs> if you're running a proper PC, unless you're running Windows on ARM. And then you're running it through emulation and stuff, which... And Microsoft these days is even kind of like, yeah, the Windows Store will support more x86 apps and stuff. It's just, I hope they figure it out because I like the idea of power efficient ARM chips challenging Intel and AMD. I like competition, but I, I just don't have hopes for the near future. They keep all the all the Windows on ARM stuff that's come out so far has all been premium priced too. So it's all like super expensive laptops that run. All the programs you want to run, like, but. So, <laughs> yeah. it's hard to... <laughs> and they do. They really do run horribly. It's When you run Office, anything is optimized for Windows on ARM. It's it's actually... You, it's almost indistinguishable from a Core M type low mm -hmm. wattage part. You go off that road to something that isn't <laughs> optimized. And, oh, my God. It's like... I know. hope it does get figured out, though. Because I like competition. Yeah, I like competition. I just don't... I. It is good to have competition. I, I wouldn't put my money on it winning. In mm -hmm. the end, not especially on Windows. I don't think it'll win because you're looking at you're looking at going against AMD, Intel, and Nvidia for really performance. Where they're continuing to push performance, Apple's a little different because you know it's in, it's in a walled off place with barbed wire on top to keep people out. So <laughs> and in. Oh yeah, it's interesting, right? It's kind of <laughs> like that. The guard towers are there to keep people out. Yeah, there, Adam. Yeah. Oh, okay. Guard towers are not in. Uh, the the last uh, chat. Um, prediction that uh, that I will mention that I actually am totally on board with mm -hmm. is a uh, belt czar thong says the full nerd will get an episode with Lisa Sue. Oh, that would be really good. That yeah, would be it's a little yeah. tough. It's maybe, very maybe, tough. Maybe maybe we'll have to make it happen. You know, we, we've got a hundred more episodes to 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 make it happen. Yeah, it's tough though when you're sort of at that level. There's responsibilities to financials and and, and getting on a show where basically. We're wearing hats and fake mustaches. <laughs> probably like, <laughs> shareholders may not like that. What's this Disney thing that I was talking about here? <laughs> True. Yeah. All right. Cool. And anything else we're going to be talking about in, in two years, you think? 
Uh, I had a random one. Okay. And that is uh, about uh, cloud streaming for games. Oh, I yeah. Somebody else like did mention that, too. I feel like we will have seen, this is maybe uncharitable, but we will have seen Google start it and then stop it <laughs> by then. Oh, that's You think that's, that's I don't bold. know if they would stop it that fast. That's bold. I think it would just prom- like. They promised that they wouldn't, but I mean. It's I mean, it's starting soon. It's Google. Yeah. No, I mean, yeah, it's it's really, I, I wouldn't. And I don't necessarily mean like a hard stop, but it's more like. Oh, it's kind of it's just gonna, dead because no one's taking care of it anymore. It's like you don't yeah, water the I don't plant, think, it just wilts. Yeah, but I don't think you can keep all those like that infrastructure spooled up and not do anything with it. They got they got Google money, so. Yeah. Well, <laughs> but you know, I just sort of think like it does feel like they just have this massive Indiana Jones warehouse, right? Like, oh, you just just shoved away, and like then you just like what happened? I'm still. And then you don't even know. Then you hear about them killing you one day, like <laughs> Hangouts or the Google other hundreds reader. of things they've gotten rid of. Oh, rest in peace. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, you know, what? I, I think uh, streaming's going to be a smooth 30. <laughs> I, Just kidding. Actually, I was streaming yesterday. GeForce Now. I don't think I think it's... GeForce Now and maybe Project X Cloud will be successful. I don't think Google Stadia will be. Oh, Ooh. Oh, sorry. Uh, side note: We just I just got word on the Discord server. Uh, somebody made a call to Lisa Sue, and they say uh, she's confirmed a visit only oh. if Brad shaves. Oh yeah. Oh, Brad. Oh, well, that's too end. bad. We're gonna have to. We're gonna uh, have to. Oh, we're gonna have to. We're gonna have to cancel. <laughs> Dang it! Sorry, Lisa. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, should we move on to some trivia? Oh, oh yes. I actually, I actually have a big like Jay Leno butt chin. Like it looks like you would expect bad things to come out of it. Like if I shave, <laughs> it's just like very protruding with a very big crease in the middle. That also sounds but, really painful for shaving. Do you like, have difficult. the big chin too? Mm. Not too I wouldn't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. So, uh, along with that theme, uh, we're going to move on to full nerd trivia. trivia. Um, I have come up with uh, a lot of questions w- with some help from uh, Whiskey Omega. Uh, and uh, I'm going to start off with some prediction stuff because I-, I went back and, and watched uh, the very first episode where we predicted stuff, uh, which was in, yeah. Oh, trivia it, about our predictions. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm going to start off with a chunk of that because it was actually really good. Uh, and, and I think we're going to have a hard time saying, like, oh, wait, who predicted that? Uh, so let, let me bring up my trusty notes here because I, in my infinite wisdom, had closed them. Uh, so this was, uh, this was episode 13. Uh, we were predicting the landscape of 2017. Oh. So two years ago. Um, who said that in 2017 there will be a 10 core CPU for between $700 and $800? Gordon. No, I, there's no way I would have been. No. Also, I'll, I'll point out the chat. I, I want you 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 to chime in as well, please. I'm gonna say uh, I'm gonna say Brad. Brad. Wait. Hold uh, on. I'll go. I'll go with Gordon because I thought Ryzen was gonna be that price for eight cores. But you said Intel, right? Somebody said uh, nope. Just a just ten, ten a ten core okay. CPU. Yeah, Gordon. For seven hundred dollars. Between seven hundred and eight hundred dollars. You like to you like to flirt with the edge a little in your prediction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because nobody ever calls me on it. Like Adam is calling me on it now. <laughs> Wait, uh, did you just admit to this? <laughs> <laughs> That's why weather forecasters always get away with it. You get soaked. Everything is ruined. The next day, you're like, "Oh, what does the forecast say?" Do you ever think about flipping to Channel Five instead and looking at Channel Five because the Channel Seven dude is wrong all the time? No, you keep watching <laughs> Channel. Channel 7. Uh, we, we got a couple people in the chat uh, saying Brad, but in fact, it was Gordon. It was Gordon. Really? Yes. Okay. Gordon, Gordon did I, I don't remember. I don't remember that whatsoever. Actually, right? and you know what's funny? Over the course of the discussion, you started off at 700, and then you were like, uh, 7 to 800. Yeah, that sounds yeah. about right. <laughs> started a little, inched a little higher. So, um, and then, uh, you know, I think we might, know this one this one might be easy but it is kind of fun to discuss for a second uh somebody predicted that uh zen won't make amd's market share jump more than 10 percent oh i know by that 2018 one. brad uh adam he adam. was a, he was a hater yeah it was adam somebody said zen won't make amd's market share jump more than 10 percent in 2018 everyone thinks it's me no i said brad. uh yeah, that might have been me, but I'm going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> that was, in fact, Brad. 
Yes. Oh. Uh, you guys so, are talking about prices and numbers. Yeah. Right? I <laughs> said. You're talking to. So uh, as an addendum to that, I said that they will lose 10%. Yeah. Because so. yeah, I remember, this, it, one. I remember yeah. this one. I remember this one because Brad was like cautiously positive yeah. and you were like, no, nah, I'm going the other direction. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, no, you, you started off. Actually, Brad started off. Uh, yeah. Very, very positive. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, kind of tempered it down. And we, we were like, well, how do we measure this? You know, and then 10%. Uh, so, uh, all right. The the next one, uh, somebody predicted a 6,700K. Uh, oh, no, I'm sorry. Uh, Zen will be the final nail in AMD's coffin. That's Adam. <laughs> that, that, yeah. was, that, yeah. that was me. Yeah. yeah. And guess what? I was wrong. <laughs> I'm glad. <laughs> uh, somebody predicted uh, Intel will not use integrated Radeon AMD GPUs. Wait, one more time? Somebody somebody predicted, actually, somebody predicted that it will happen. Somebody predicted it won't happen. Oh, so Intel, two questions. Yeah, question. Intel will not use integrated Radeon AMD GPUs. Who said that? And I, who said they will use AMD GPUs? I think Mark said... Mm. I would... Elena was on the show. Oh. oh. I would <laughs> think... I think... Brad. I think Gordon said... That it would. Yes, because that was and right I think around the. Adam said it would not. Uh, uh, Brad said they would not, uh, and then Gordon had just written an article talking about uh, some leaks about Intel using AMD GPUs, and Brad was like, mm -mm, mm -mm. Ah, "I got half right." Yeah. <laughs> well, There's, and actually, he, uh, Brad is half still, right too. I still think they were crazy to do it. It turns out it was just. Uh, public job interview for Roger Kadori, so yeah. I still feel happy. <laughs> you know, technically you were right, Brad, uh, because they did not they did not kill IGP. It was basically a fancy advanced integrate. It's basically a fancy tiny discrete part. That's what KB Lake mm -hmm. G ended up being more the more so than what everybody and thought. And it was not widely used. So. <laughs> uh, we, yeah. we have uh, we have some uh, some GPU related things. Uh, somebody predicted that the details of Volta will hit when Vega launches. Whenever that was, I, th I think it was somewhere in right, April or March of twenty. That sounds like something I would say. Uh, I, that Nvidia will me. that Nvidia will come in and release you know the the next. Uh, that sounds like series. Gordon to me. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna guess me on that one. <laughs> nope, that was Brad. Oh, that oh. was Brad. Was he right? In Nvidia marketing are real jerks. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, somebody predicted a Titan X Ti. That's Adam. Yeah. That was me. <laughs> uh, Wait, is somebody keeping track of how many each person is getting? No. Oh, no. okay. Yeah, we're just whatever. I think it feels like Elena's gotten more, so, but. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, somebody predicted uh, that there will be a dual GPU coming out. Oh, in that's me. Because who else will say something dumb yeah. like that but me? <laughs> <laughs> actually, you you thought it was a good idea, but it was actually uh, in the chat, friend of the show, Raphael. Oh, uh, yeah, was that that was? Uh, I just because it's never. I mean, it's so clear that multi GPUs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Left behind. So uh, somebody predicted that Nvidia will walk back GeForce Experience registration. Who? Adam? I don't think that was me. No. Uh, Elena. No. I. Oh, if it's so. the conversation I'm thinking of, I think it was Adam. I, I thought they wouldn't, like they haven't. They haven't rolled out the email or not email. They had said you would have to do it to get the latest drivers. No, let's go with Adam. I don't. <laughs> <want to do. laughs> yes, that was definitely me because I was very frustrated. <laughs> I got locked out and I couldn't update my drivers. But Brad, yeah, you said I, you said what will always happen was that GeForce Experience will be locked behind registration, but you can still download drivers. Mm -hmm. But at the time, they were I'm, flirting with putting ideas out there. I'm actually that's one of the professional moments that I'm actually proud of because that was. A conversation that was part of a bigger press group, and everyone just reported the basic news about GFE and everything. And I'm the one who said, "Wait a second, what are you what are you saying here about drivers?" And I was the only one who put out a big story about it, and it kind of blew up. Which sounds like I'm patting myself on the back. I'm not. I am just really happy when I can take steps that help can big companies not screw over consumers. So I'm real glad that NVIDIA did not put drivers behind GFE registration. I think that deserves so. a pat on the back. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, 
uh, side note somebody saying a bit big mama in discord is saying somebody predicted they think somebody predicted ryzen 3000 on 7 7 oh oh none of us i'll have to i'll have to go back and listen to that that's interesting did we i don't think you i go don't. back and you listen and God, it turns out it was hilarious. big mama in the yeah. chat oh. <laughs> Yeah, Not where do they work? Where do they work? Somebody really knew what was going uh, on there. I, uh, <laughs> I don't know who that would be, but oh, look, the chat history shows that. Oh, I said that. Why? I didn't yeah, even wow, realize weird. I had made such an accurate prediction. Wow. No, I'm not taking credit for that. In fact, I didn't even remember that I made such a prescient prediction years ago. <laughs> So, uh, somebody on that episode predicted that Volta will not have video outputs. What? A compute-only part? Huh. That sounds like you. That there will Turned be no video right. outputs on Turned Volta. Turned kind of right. Because Volta never came to consumer regret, but they had the, like, Quadro-style ones. I'll say Elena. <laughs> <laughs> just to mix it up. <laughs> Randomly just point at somebody else in the room. Oh gosh. That's a good one. Uh that was actually Gordon. It, it was kind of a joke. I knew it was, it was kind of a you yeah, and yeah, it, it was a joke. He wasn't actually saying it. I can't remember I I, I listened to it a couple days ago, but somebody was saying something really dumb and he's like, Oh yeah, well this just in Volta's not gonna have video outputs. <laughs> there must have been uh, some reason yeah. for that. I yeah, I'm sorry. I I I I should have written, written it down. It was no, fine. No, that's good. Um, I say dumb things all the time. <laughs> somebody predicted that we will not see a consumer HoloLens, which has I mean, been very true. It sounds like all of us. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Probably all of us. Everybody. It's somebody, yeah. it was their official prediction. It was written on paper. Oh. Me? I'll go with me. I think I wrote that down <laughs> one year. I think Elena. That was Brad. Oh. oh. No consumer HoloLens. Right on the money. And actually, you know what? Gordon, you were very anti it. You were like, no, nah, we'll see something. We'll see something. You just haven't seen yet, yeah, Adam. Yeah. There's still things waiting. that you We're haven't seen waiting. being developed. It's been four years. Uh and the the last uh the last one I thought was uh, pretty interesting from that episode, and we'll move on to some more general stuff. Uh Nvidia somebody said NVIDIA will support FreeSync in twenty seventeen. Oh, that's Gordon. That was Gordon. <laughs> <laughs> lap. Was I off? How off was I? Oh, I mean, I said that it came out in 2008. No, this year it came out. When did I say? But I made the prediction in 2017, or did I actually say it would happen? I mean, you said it was in 2017, but man, uh, Brad, you were like, no, no way, no how. If they do that, I'm going to eat a whole stack of paper, <laughs> which you didn't have to because it wasn't 2017, but it ended up happening. Ended up happening. They're sort of, I guess he could argue they're sort of not so, supporting it. They're kind of eh, like, I, I'm just going to go with it. sometimes I'm glad to be wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I, you know, still like, yeah, this is, we're really supporting it. Boy, if this stuff weren't so bad, we wouldn't have to do <laughs> yeah. all this work. <laughs> oh, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. Look, we so, turned it on and so we got it to work. We actually fixed all these things that should have been fixed in the first place. It's like, dude, are you going to like. We, we tested 2,000 monitors. Seven of them are good. <laughs> Seven of them are good. We're supporting all of them. But man, there's a lot of bad monitors out there. Hey, you can enable it right there in GeForce Experience Ooh, if you want. It won't be good, sure but you can do it. It would be nice if you just bought a G Sync panel and didn't have to deal with this, wouldn't it? <laughs> Yeah. Wait, are you saying you're supp wait <laughs> It's just sort of like It's very classic in video. It's very classic. All right. Uh so now now we're we're moving on to some general knowledge stuff. Uh we I almost let it slip earlier because we were talking about it. What was does anyone remember the date of episode zero? Like Full the exact nerd date. Ap episode, yep. The, the exact, exact date. episode date of episode zero. Oh. I don't remember the and year. I can give you a hint. I don't even remember the year. You can remember the year if you thought about it. Maybe. I thought we started in 2017. I 2016. can't remember anything. It was probably spring. I'm going to say it's like April, but I don't know the exact date, so I'll just throw out a number, 16th. Well, Brad might know, because remember we were talking about the, the 1080? Yep. So I'll go with August uh, of 2016. August 18th. Late August. I will say uh, it's closer to my birthday. If anyone remembers my birthday, I oh, do, man. which is why I said April. <laughs> April's. I'm just picking a random date, but April sixteenth, twenty sixteen. 
Uh, I don't I w- even know what season Adam's birthday is in. <laughs> I do. <laughs> uh, Elena was closer. It was uh, May 13th, 2016. Ah, it was May. Episode zero. I thought it was April. Uh, I was confusing the 20 series launch and the 10 series launch. Yep. Yep. 10, 1080, 1070. Uh, and then uh, we have... Um, uh, we have a, a couple of rapid fire uh, numbers ones. Uh, how many times has Elena been on the full nerd? <laughs> I don't even know. I will go with 77. Oh, not that many. <laughs> Seven, 74. 32. <laughs> this is not prices right. 32. <laughs> yeah, I hate those prices right rules. <laughs> I hate those things. Gotta be under. Uh, the answer is 63. Really? 63 episodes that wow. Elena has been on. That's pretty. I won then. Wait, uh, what? I won then. You can't then. go above was, for Price is Right rules. Yeah. That's Price why I hate those rules. Above. Yeah. <laughs> he, he said not, no Price is Right rules. And this is according to my spreadsheet that I have of uh, all the videos that I track, so hopefully it's accurate, but it's... <laughs> but give, or, give or take one. Yeah, 63. Uh, how many times has Hayden been on? This is my next question. 27. 10. 4. Damn, 4. Wow, that's low. Uh, Hayden has been on thirteen times. Thirteen times. So in the Gordon one on that, the Price is Right rules there. <laughs> uh, how many times has Mark he was on a lot more often in the beginning, wasn't he? He, he was. was. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. He, was, he was on episode zero. He was. Uh, how many times has Mark been on? Mark Hawkman. I'll go with four yet again. <laughs> Eight. That's just gonna be. That's my lucky number. In case. Seven. Full nerd trivia. Brad's lucky number is four. Uh, and Brad wins this one at six. Oh, Mark yeah, has yeah. Uh, been on six. Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait, wait. How See, that is that's, exactly that's, wrong. That's, that's Price is Right rules. Price is Right rules. Oh, no, no, you I, you can't Gordon's go over. It's the closest one. So we are doing Price over. is Right rules. Yeah, yeah. Dang it. I'm right. I'm just saying that's what's wrong with it. <laughs> he guessed four. He was three away. I guess, I guess seven. seven. You guess seven. I guess no, eight. no. He was two away. Yeah. It was six. I guess seven. Yeah. So you're much closer. But I lose because of the this stupid Price is price right, right rules. <laughs> I was look how close I was. No, uh, I agree. And I agree. Our, our boss John Phillips is uh, is is chiming in as well with with guesses. Uh, how many times has Melissa been on? Melissa Rio Frio. I'm gonna go ahead and guess four. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Seven. <laughs> Uh, Brad's uh, Brad's strategy is paying off. It is five. Dang it! Melissa has been so on you five just times. guess the same number enough. <laughs> 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 yep. Uh, and then how many how many times has uh, has our boss John Phillips been on? Zero. Is that a trick question? Because he's in the chat. He's in the chat watching us right now. He yelled at us in the chat to turn off and for Gordon to go to a huddle room, but he never did it in person. Yeah, this is this is a trick yeah. question because he's in the chat quite he, frequently. And and I, I can't track that, uh, he but he's not been on the episode. On live builds. Yeah, but uh, uh, live builds aren't episodes. I yeah. Know. Uh, oh, so Game Bacardi has a good one. Uh, how many times has Adam's boss sat in the background during an episode? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was funny. I forgot about that. Uh, and then he, here's one. So out of all the guests who don't work here, so not the Haydens and Marks and Melissa's, uh, how many guests have been on the full nerd and can you name all of them? Oh, Official oh. or specials too? I, I mean, both. Oh. Will Smith, Ryan from creative, Jim Anderson, Rob Kyle. Halleck, Kyle, uh, Scott from AMD. Steve. Gamers Steve. Nexus. As the live shows, uh, the, that counts. That counts. It counts. That's 10. Raja Kadori was on a special episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, I'm counting appearances, not just simply. No, it's 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 single. Oh. Just how many guests, not appearances, but how, how many guests? Damn it. <laughs> Don't pay attention to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go with nine. I'm not sure if we had someone from AMD NVIDIA on here once. Nine sounds about right to me as well. I Gordon's like going to get it. I know, I know Gordon's going like to get I'm gonna, eight. I'm missing that, it. Sounds like I don't got it. <laughs> oh, he, I'm just saying he's, he's over there thinking really hard. Eight. You forgot Tom Peterson was on very early. Oh, yeah. Tom Peterson's 10. Tom Peterson's 10. All right, so, so list them out for me again. Tom Peterson, Rob Halleck, Scott Herkelman, Jim Anderson, 
Steve from Gamers Nexus, Ryan from Creative, Will Smith, Kyle, Roger Kadori, Kyle. And there was one more that I now forget. But I'm going to still stick with 10. Is that, is that it? I'm going nine. Nine for me. Uh, it it is actually ten, oh. but we're missing one. Who? who? I, I know. Who was I know. I had it in my head. I just lost it. Gordon. Redo yeah. It, it was it was an episode where it was only Gordon and this person. That's multiple instances. <laughs> no, give me a clue. I know. Jim Anderson. Did I say that? Yeah, you, you already said, said that. You said yeah, that. you said that. Damn it! I don't remember. I can't look. I I've done. <laughs> I've done television appearances, and I don't remember when I shot the video or when I even showed up. I can't remember these things anymore. <laughs> uh, it was uh, Onid Servatza. Oh, right, right. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm probably butchering your name, but yes. Thank you to all the guests who have appeared. Uh, we, we've had some great guests on. Oh, that's right. Yep. That was a remote. That was a remote. It's always hard to remember the remote shoots. Right. Right. Yeah, in my head that was Intel. just event coverage. That's why. Yeah, I, I yeah. yeah. But no, that was that that was uh, yeah that was a special edition full nerd. Uh, we we titled it that way, so it was uh yeah. Uh here's a good one. Um how many episodes has Daniel Masaoka filled in for Adam Patrick Murray? Three. Four. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna uh, the number first. So we're doing prices right rules, I'll go ahead and do five. Uh once again Brad wins. It is five. <laughs> five episodes. Brad is Brad How is good are you at this. doing this, Brad? Because I stole his number. <laughs> uh you know what? I, I think I made a mistake on the last one. Flash photo saying uh Optane. Who is Optane? Oh, that's right. Bill Lazinski. Intel. Oh, oh man. That was a good wow. One. That I was had, really good. I had my numbers Lemon. off. That was oh. uh whoops. <laughs> so <it was> eleven. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Yeah. Uh yes. That was a good one. That Optane um, topic yes, was fun. Yes, I totally forgot about that one. Um what episode was the first live full nerd? Oh man. Six. I have no idea. I know it wasn't four. <laughs> <laughs> feels like feels like it was in the teens. I'm gonna say Yeah, sixteen. I was gonna say sixteen. Twelve. Which is not really a teen, but you know. They are. They act just like teens. Twelve. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I'm waiting for chat. There, there's some people. Uh, there's some people in the chat saying seven, nine. Uh, but actually, uh, our boss uh, John Phillips got it right. Number five. Lucky number closest, five. Though. Wow. That was the, the first live episode. I knew we've, it was five or six. Yeah, we've we've been live pretty uh, wow pretty early in our in our days. Uh, so best move we made. Yeah, best yeah, move we it. made. Um, so this one. I whew, I really hope I got the math right on this one, but what? it's it's pretty close. Uh, how many total episodes of the full nerd have there been, including zero and special? And specials. Mm. Uh, one thirteen. All right, I just made that up. No, that's too many. Four. One. One five. One ten. One ten. <laughs> one. Uh, one eight. <laughs> One eight. One. That's eighteen. One oh eight. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a. I work with words, not numbers, Adam. Oh, we got somebody in the chat who got it. One hundred and twelve. Uh, it is a hundred and seven. Oh. One hundred and seven. So, ah. I I will caveat and say that, and I f totally forgot this before I went back and looked. Um, <laughs> we did a series of special edition full nerds at uh, um. What, what's that games one up north pax pax yes pax west when we went up there for the full nerd stuff or for oh, hardcore were hardware those stuff official? So, i mean we called them full nerds you know okay. so i counted that as one we, even yeah. though we did like three you know yeah. but whatever uh, you know so huh. uh yeah we, we got some more left um the, this one uh, I'm comes sucking to at these. I've like I got <laughs> one single one right. I only have two and a half right. Uh, <laughs> and that yeah, um, and that also includes the the half nerd episodes. Um, who uh, da, da, da. wait? Did you count the half nerds as a half or as a whole? <laughs> oh, <laughs> dang it! I messed up. I messed up. Uh, how many? How many? Uh, this this one uh, was put together by a uh, eagle eyed whiskey omega in our Discord. How many boxes did Brad have on view in episode twenty one? Well, that's oh. really specific. <laughs> and what companies were there? Oh wow, that's super and which specific. one was the largest one? Wow, four. 
I mean, it, it's an ever rotating number of boxes, so this one's a little little hard. Uh, seven Y'all boxes. I should see off camera right now. It's a mess in here. <laughs> seven, and uh, it's going to be a case box. So, uh, Cooler Master. Uh, I, Brad? I will go with 2016. Corsair. May 2016. May 2016 is uh, GeForce GTX 10 series, so I will go with 2, and it was NVIDIA. Uh, it was uh, it was 22 boxes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nine, you used to have a wall. Yeah, 9 of them AMD, 9 of them NVIDIA, 4 of them oh, yeah. random. Is it? And the largest one was the XFX R9 29 5X2. Here is another full nerd trivia. That is my favorite graphics card of all time. Wow. It's stupid and ludicrous, <laughs> but it like is so stupid and ludicrous that it needed a 1200 watt power supply and not just any 1200 <laughs> watt power supply. It had to have the rail set up to deliver power in certain ways because it was just that ridiculous. And still, Maya got it right over back there still. Nice. Uh, this one is for the chat. Uh, I have a because uh, I know everybody knows this one, so this one's specifically for the chat. And the first one to get this uh, will will have to message me, and I will send you out a full nerd book that we printed uh, last year, uh, signed by us if you want. Uh, so who was who is the person in the full nerd intro? There's a person who walks around and does. Some stuff in that the folder intro. Have, should, should I play the intro? Is that, yeah. Is that information public at all for people? I guess. I mean, yes, they, it, it, is, they, it has been talked about. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's. Let, let me play the. Let me play the intro. Uh, I so, have no idea. You don't know. You'll know once no. you see. Well, he can't see. This is like playing oh. a uh, let, let, game. Let, let, let me play it. Let me play it. Oh, that would be kind of hard to guess, actually. Yeah, that's why I'm like, that's that's a tough one. You really, you really gotta have paid attention. And yeah, it's a hard one. It's attention. a hard one. Think think about it for a bit. Uh, you know, and if if somebody comes up with it, uh, message me. Should we give them a, a hint? No, there's uh -huh. not really an easy hint. Well, no, I mean, I, I've got a couple more audience questions. They, they, okay, just, got just leave it out there. They can get yeah. back to you on Discord too. Whoever gets yeah. to you first gets that book. Discord, uh, tweet at me, Adam P. Murray in chat whatever uh and no it is not steve from gamers texas <laughs> <laughs> that, is, that is a good one uh I, I i will say i will say it was somebody who worked for us i was gonna say that yeah. that's, that's it's a somebody clue. who worked that's for us that's a clue you that's can fair. give uh and yeah somebody who used to work for us i guess that's yeah. a this is making me realize that even when i go back and watch it i mentally tune out during the intro because i literally have no idea like i can't even picture it Man, yeah. Well, Brad, if 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 you get it, I will send you a book. Uh, <laughs> I don't have one, so. Uh, yeah. Um. Anyway, uh, moving on to the next one. Uh, this one is also for the. Ch uh, actually, it's for all of us, but also I think the chat would have a fun one with this one. I was looking through the stats on Spotify. Uh, oh, and Spotify. Spotify. Yeah, uh, we we recently have put up the audio version up on Spotify. I don't know, probably the last 10 episodes, I think. Uh, and Spotify has really good uh, metrics. Oh, uh, nice. And one of the most random metrics is, is, hey, all the people who listen to The Full Nerd uh, have uh, five artists, the five, the five artists that are most majorly in common. So who are the top five artists that people who listen to The Full Nerd on Spotify also listen to? Oh, now I gotta go look. I'm very interested in this. This, this is five artists, so oh, boy. can we band? Look? It can be a, a single per. I mean, but you can't is, look at the stats. Do they count oh. other podcasts, <laughs> or is it actual music artists? It's all music. I I, okay. I will say that it's not. Uh, it's not it's like not they podcast. watch a whole bunch. Taylor of Taylor Swift. <laughs> <laughs> one of one of them is 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 relevant to the full nerd. I will say that one. Huh. Who's that? Uh, just, just, I just, just name some things, and I'll, I'll tell you if it's no. Uh, we, we have uh, Bug Lovers Tech has named one of them, and got it, got it correctly. Yeah, Ramstein. I, I will say uh, it is Drake. 
Oh. Really? <laughs> yeah, Drake, which is, hey, relevant to, to the full Let's nerd, you know? Predictions. Yeah. That? It was predictions. One of our predictions that Adam made. Um, I can't remember. I think, was it Threadripper 2 or something? Something about October. I forgot. Yeah, what it was. I was like, at Drake's birthday, this is when oh. it's going to launch. Uh, so, yeah, we, we've got, we got one down. Mm. We got four more. That's an interesting. Rihanna. I'm just trying to think of popular people now. I'm I will trying just to make throw it... one out there, Sir Mix-a-Lot, because no one will either know who that is. Uh, no, not Sir Mix-a-Lot, uh, and <laughs> not Rihanna, no. And and. Did you hear my earlier one? Sorry, what was the other one? Rammstein. No, no Rammstein. <laughs> yeah. uh, we have a very small German contingency. We do. They're out there. But uh, And chat saying Eminem. Nope, no Eminem. Did you did you vet uh, Brad Taylor Swift? The Beatles. Taylor Swift, not Taylor Swift, not the Beatles. The Beatles aren't even on Spotify. Never mind. I oh yeah. Uh, somebody says Pink Floyd. Nope. Nine Inch Nails. Nope. I will say uh, we're, it's mostly it's mostly contemporary. There's only one artist here from One Direction. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. Come on. You're gonna think that low of our of our audience. Uh Weird Weird Al Yegovich was not it, but that would be hilarious. Weird Al would That'd be, be great. good. That would make yeah. sense. Yeah. Just just start throwing out some uh, you know Because this is half parody anyway. Skrillex, nope. MC Sean Chris. Paul, nope. MC Chris, nope. The so, weekend. Yeah. Black Eyed Peas, nope. I can't even name anybody because oh, we got one. Oh. Uh Pseudo Soul got it. Uh Post Malone. Really? Yeah. What? Yeah. Post. I don't even know who that is. <laughs> I don't know who that is. <laughs> you don't worry about it. You know, miss much. Uh, oh man, we got another one. See, this is the one I thought was going to be the hardest. Uh, Naga got it. Uh, Lincoln Park. Really? Is one of them. Yes. Wow. Interesting enough, I I did not think Lincoln Park would uh would be in the top five. That's uh, a, that people c currently still listen to. That is a very um, eclectic mix. So that's far. a band. Uh, so yeah, we we've got two more. One of them is very yeah if you just keep naming names you'll Beyonce. come across it no but close oh. jay-z no uh, pseudo soul said either. hate breed i love hate breed but it's not it's not beyonce not nickelback lady no gaga. nickelback even if it was nickelback i wouldn't say lady it. gaga not lady gaga not queen not adele dang lisa sue's country album hmm, nope wait what green <laughs> <laughs> she has a country album no it's just a no. joke uh green day nope oh no abba nope Mm. Macklemore, Jonas, nope. Cardi B, nope. Chemical Brothers, I, nope. I still Katy don't... Perry, nope. Sia, nope. Wow. All right, uh, the, the the big one is Kanye West. Really? Uh, yeah, Kanye West is one, uh, and then the other one uh, is Marshmallow. Huh? What? <laughs> he's, a, he's a DJ. That makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. No, so you know, if, he was if, just in the Fortnite thing. Yeah. So if you think about it, Drake, Lincoln Park, Post Malone, Kanye, and Marshmallow. The only one I think kind of is weird is Kanye. Because I can see all the other ones, you know, uh, so, being being relevant. I only uh, recognize half Well, the I names. mean, that video for Power was all pixel art, so, I mean. True, true. I, but also, I think just, like, a lot of people listen to Kanye, you know. Yeah. He's definitely yeah, the most. So I was trying to think of popular people. He's probably the most popular out of all those, right? Wouldn't you, wouldn't you, wouldn't you agree? Drake, Lincoln, Drake Park, Post Malone, Kanye, there. Marshmallow. But I think Drake is a lot more behind the scenes, too, you know, like mm. a, a writer. Uh, All I know is he's always on that damn court. All right. Uh, so it's over, Gordon. It <clears throat> doesn't matter. The Raptors won. You, you can't touch anybody in the court. They would ban you forever. Uh, zero games for me says it must be a young audience. Um, but yeah, actually, we do have the breakdown of that. It's uh, mostly between 25 and 35. Uh, is the majority of the audience? Um, can and, you, we ask something I can answer? Because I am an <laughs> actually no. I got another one. I got another one just for the chat. Because uh, I think everyone knows this. Because we we've been talking about it. Uh, what is the most listened to episode of the Full Nerd? Audio only. Most listened to. Audio only. Yeah. There's actually somebody. If somebody went and and did some sleuthing, they could easily find this on the internet. I think um, you told me this answer, so I will abstain. Yeah. Well, Gordon, I know what Gordon's doing. He knows how to get to the answer. And it is public knowledge. It is something you can look at. Uh, I, yeah. yeah. I think it was... And I know what it is, too, because I think you mentioned it. So it would be unfair for me to mention yeah, it. Don't, so don't, don't. Even though I can mention it and I have an answer, I can't answer it. I yeah. only know two things, and that's just two. <laughs> that's it. Every single question you've asked, I... Uh, you know, if, if, you, if you think about <clears throat> a, a couple things, you know, we've... We've, we've, I've, I've already mentioned earlier, reviews usually do better. I will say it's not a review, but it is kind of a, a more special one. Uh, it's not Roger Kodori. Uh, 
Actually, that I don't, was very did that one go up as audio? I actually don't know if that one. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, that know. was early. Yeah, that was early. I, I think it did. I think we actually did, did that one live from the AMD yep. booth. If you remember, that was yeah, oh yeah, boy. that was cool. Uh, wait, I remember being ooh, sweaty close. and awkward. Somebody got it close. Ooh, so yeah, I. If we don't get it in a minute, uh, oh, the GPP episode actually was in the top the top couple for a long time. That that's yep. a really good, really good guess. Mm. There's a lot of people who wanted to know about that one. Uh, and Mike, um, builds aren't considered full nerds, uh, and they, they definitely don't go up as audio uh, only. That'd, That'd be, be the most confusing. boring thing to ever listen to. <laughs> it's just, a, I don't, you know, could I don't be know. soothing. Could be soothing. Yeah. Could be soothing or just can't, really confusing. If you can't sleep and you need something, just like put you. <laughs> like, I can't figure out what which channels to put my RAM in. <laughs> yeah. Sound of pages turning. Hey, you know, you can it's... cool a CPU with beer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, we'll leave this one out here. You can chat it. You can put it in Discord. Tweet at me, Adam P. Murray. Uh, once again, if somebody gets it, uh, this one's easier because it is, you can, you can do some sleuthing, the, the most listened to full nerd episode, uh, and I will send, send you a book. Um, and then, uh, this is, this is the last one. I think, uh, I think Gordon, mm-hmm. you're going to have a fun with this one. Whiskey Omega put it together for me. Okay. Last minute edition. Oh, really good. Whiskey Omega. Good dude. Yes. Yes. Uh, this is a really good one. Which of the big three, Intel, AMD, and NVIDIA. Got the most topic segments. Oh, over oh, our run! Wow, I'm, I'm gonna go guess. with AMD because they are very much masters at trickling information, and they have APUs or CPUs and GPUs. Yeah, I, I I'm gonna. Yeah. Oh, that can't be. That's too obvious. You know, that's a trap. I agree <laughs> with Brad. I'm okay with going for the obvious answer. Uh, most most of the chat is also going with AMD. I would think that too. That's why it's a trap. That's why you never you got to go the opposite way. I'm gonna guess. Via. God. All right. I'm gonna guess. Um, Creative. In, in no. Yeah, Nvidia. Just because I think the AMD one is a trap. No, but then Intel. I'm gonna say Intel. Uh, it is in fact AMD. <sighs> Yes, yeah. AMD. Uh, so, do we want to guess? Because uh, uh, whiskey has uh, has put down the numbers. Do we want to guess how many uh, AMD, how many Ooh. Intel, and how many Nvidia Ooh. segments Jeez, we've had? Really hey, hey, Adam, I just I got to be out of here in five minutes. Maybe, okay. So you know. All right. Cool. This is the last question. Ooh, man, I I feel like I'm just gonna be plucking numbers out of the air because. We've had I, the only number prediction I'm going to make is four. <laughs> four would be good. <laughs> I would guess that AMD had 75. Wow. That's the majority of segments on the. No, because we have they multiple often, segments per episode. Yeah, we have three segments per episode. Yeah, I got to say it's a lot too. I'm, I'm going to go with the. Well, but it seems like that's too exciting. I'm going to say. I'm going to say. 37 <laughs> but it was just still a lot but i mean it does they they're the ones they're very open to having people come out they're making the rounds mm-hmm. to talk to people and they keep launching things and they keep incrementing things that are and it's all traditionally component desktop which and is before 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 adam answers i was actually toying with going triple digits and saying at least 100 because we do it <laughs> segments but i i tempered it back in I think official topics That'd official be topics so be or guess. my guess is 68 for amd um ooh, 38 for intel and 42 for nvidia just plucking numbers out of air to be uh, honest though i will say uh i did not uh research the validity of these if that's wrong email whiskey omega uh <laughs> <laughs> go on discord yeah. uh but yeah go on discord uh but i'm gonna trust him on this one uh amd 28 huh? intel 25 nvidia 18 oh so huh. yeah we had a lot of other things we talked about then yeah yeah right wait, wait, i think i win i was 35 four. who said four i said 35 <laughs> <laughs> actually somebody uh somebody in the chat uh, uh who was it uh, java's best at 30 on amd so they were really close they were the closest i saw in chat Jeff is best. so yeah uh right that, that that's trivia uh we got one last thing to do i know gordon's got to go uh, i'm gonna bring this over 
da, it's da. a cake. Oh, oh it is! Yay! No, it's, a, it's not a birthday mm. without. Uh, Are you gonna light it? I, I know he's got a lighter with him, so. I'm just uh, going to move this crepe paper out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> Happy birthday to us. Uh, thank you, everyone. <laughs> we mean because we like to set on fire and yeah. put the building down. Please, please don't. Happy anniversary to so, us. Uh, or whatever we're going to call this holiday. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you for uh, all being uh, on the ride with us. Uh, Brad, go get yourself a cupcake. Uh, I, I am expensing these, so. Oh, these smell like, <laughs> that smells like cream cheese as the frosting. Uh, one of them is carrot cake, one of them is chocolate, one of them is vanilla. Uh, so, yeah, uh, happy birthday to uh, to the full nerd, to us. We made it. We made it to 100. 100. Uh, we'll see you in 100 more. It, it doesn't make noise, Thanks to all anyway. of y'all for making this possible. Everyone yes. Everyone watching, everyone listening. Exactly. This, this is my burn, favorite we... part of my work week, and it's thanks to y'all. Thank yep. you. Yeah, and this is everybody. I, this has been wonderful. 100 episodes is awesome because it's just great to actually get time from work to just nerd out like this. Mm -hmm. And it, it couldn't happen without, I'm going to call it, the shout out should also be to one, the wonderful people who make the hardware. I know a lot of people mm -hmm, think it's mm -hmm. blood sport, team sport, but there are people working hard to make the wonderful hardware that makes all this. They should get a shout out. They're making mm -hmm. good stuff, making everything awesome. And of course, the audience, people who buy this stuff. So, and want to talk about it, you know, shout out to you too, because yeah. you make this all possible. Yep. Yeah. So, and thank you to all the guests, all the, yeah, all the, all the companies, all the people that we've yeah. talked to about having on the episodes. Well, hopefully yep. we'll get more, uh, more guests, uh, on the future. And yeah, thank you so much to all the people who chat in, all the people on discord, uh, mm -hmm. across, uh, YouTube, Twitch, uh, Twitter, Facebook, yeah. uh, YouTube, you know, uh, uh, chat especially you, yeah everyone's been awesome here yeah, so everyone who I touches appreciate the that. show in some form has just been really awesome and even the people that uh that email in uh even though we don't check the email all the time <laughs> and the audio listeners you know i listen to Everybody. almost every single episode so uh did it's... you just thank yourself <laughs> well, yes you know what i guess i did thank you for for me for making it i did it <laughs> So, yeah, thank you. Why don't you uh, uh, bring us out, Gordon? Okay, so check back next week for your fix of PC Talk on the Full Nerd for audio listeners. And there will be news next week. For audio listeners, subscribe to us on iTunes, Google Play, or Stitcher. Send questions and comments to the Full Nerd at PCWorld.com. We will check it once in a while. Every time you do, there's a new episode. Hey. Ah, hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming. I'm Gordon Ung with Brad Charkas. Adios, y'all. Eleni Yee. Bye, everyone. And Adam Patrick Murray's going to hit the off switch. Uh, and here's to 100 more. <laughs>